and say goodbye to the music, and we're gonna undeafen. Hello. Oh. I'm Dutch. I'm Dutch now. I'm the one undeafening. Woo. You're Dutch. True. <laughs> Welcome to my Dutch. world. That's how that works, right? That that Dutch Laura K for you. <laughs> eek, eek. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Uh, hello everyone i feels weird i'm i'm not the owner of this channel <laughs> you are now you are now surprise like, like, it's funny because i'm not the owner i'm also not the one streaming dutch is not the one streaming, <laughs> streaming. Uh, but i guess i'm your de facto host today welcome everyone uh if you're watching or if you're in the call with me thank you for being here today this is the second part of tasha's kiss which we attempted to you know finish at some point i believe it was prior to the summer it was april uh, it was in april because that's when april. the vod went up on youtube right <laughs> and that did not go well we did not get a chance to finish it throughout the summer but here we are who knew at, people at, are busy at the end of, uh, yeah at the end Crazy. of September. oh also was it was it bell who edited the the part one vod for the youtube or uh, was probably. it someone else everything, anything youtube related goes to bell. all right because so whoever yes. did 10 out of 10 for the edits for like the blue screen moments and stuff those are making me chuckle <laughs> when i was rewatching the vod 10 out of 10 i'm really hoping that my computer doesn't do that because i only have discord going and the twitch chat and obviously should be good should be stuff. good um but yeah welcome uh this is part two of tasha's kiss and many of the adventurers here probably don't remember a lot of what <laughs> happened in the first session so for you at home and for those of you in the call we're gonna do a very very uh, before we do that recap. can we quickly go over some announcements and all that stuff yeah, um, of course. if that's yeah. okay hey you're the owner you do it <laughs> yes I'm taking control back no <laughs> uh first of all uh dude i'm just, my setup's got spot today so uh, hopefully my audio and stuff remains consistent enough for it to be good for the YouTube and, and all that stuff. But um, hey, guys. Hey. Button Select um, is three years old as of this week, which is pretty crazy to think about. Um, did it. 73rd was when the first uh, session went, uh, went live. And it is now September 25th. 5th. So we're, yeah, there we go. So it's been three years. So what better way to celebrate by a double D&D weekend? So, so we have uh, this one shot's conclusion tonight, and obviously a uh, normal DS tomorrow uh, with the full crew, because Soko is back, and he'll be here for an entire month. So he'll be here for four sessions back to back to back to back, which is great. Um, I just want to quickly thank all the players and the guests and people that have hosted other one shots like this one for uh, helping us create content for the past years i want to thank my players for putting up with the shit i put them through on a weekly basis and and you all the viewers for for supporting what we do and obviously with camping too we've decided to really do things bigger and better with you know its specific own channel consistent youtube stuff we're available on on a plethora of podcast platforms now too where you can listen to the audio only version of camping too uh the world anvil is still being tinkered with every single day um we're doing so much shit. Uh, there's some batches in the works, by the way. We've commissioned an artist. They've already sent like, like a little bit of a teaser of what she is making, and it's looking really, really good. So we're gonna have sub badges soon. And I just wanna say thank you all for for being so supportive. Whether you're a viewer, a player, or someone who's guested before, or or hosted a one shot, or or whatever, for being so fucking supportive and allowing us to just keep doing what we're doing, and that is put out some nerdy D and D content that we all enjoy doing. So. Thank you. And thank yeah. you for creating a fucking world for us to play in. You yeah. Three. You, I, was say, I feel you like know, you, this will happen. you this mentioned all the shit we, we put you th or you put us through. I'm That's like, it, I think yeah. we put you through more shit. Yeah. Like the amount of times yeah. it's like, do this. And we go, but what if I can do this instead? And just the, the did I stutter? <laughs> like moments. <and> like, <laughs> uh, we, we try and haggle with the DM all the time. <laughs> and sometimes that works. And sometimes I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, generosity I, I have as a DM is very closely linked to how am I feeling mentally that day. So. <laughs> Fair. That's in a good mood. We can ask for a tank, guys. Just like that's in a good enough <laughs> mood. We get ourselves a fucking tank, baby. <laughs> Maybe. Today I'm feeling like shit, so you're all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. So I'm feeling a shit. So you're fighting a Hydra level two. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Dutch at three a.m. as you stand like I'm ill. Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, some of the best, like, ideas I've had for DS have come on days where I feel like ass. I'm just like, I'm I mean, to write some fuck shit, dude. <laughs> I feel like it's part of the tradition now, because in campaign one, we fought a fucking beholder at level two, and a bunch of us <laughs> lost our shit, even though, because we're like, logically, we know you will nerf a traditional beholder, because it's not meant for level two, but we still just, we see a beholder, we see baby level, we panic, and, oh, that was terrifying. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is what I, and then we'll hand the reins back to James because I don't want to <laughs> take up too much of the time. But that's just the way I write. I'm like, because <clears throat> everyone's seen, you know, the usual, oh, kill rats mission, oh, goblin camps. I'm like, dude, I want them <laughs> to feel the threat even at low level. So I'm going to throw beholders and hydras at their ass uh, <laughs> at low level and see how they react. You know, it's just. But anyway, yeah, so thank you everyone for being fucking supportive as hell. You guys are awesome. And only up from here. Here's to, you know, another three years plus. Take it away, James. Oh boy, how do I follow that? Uh, well, <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's about time we get started then. Um, for the VOD and for those of you who are here who don't have the greatest memory or for the chat, uh, we're going to do a very, very quick recap as fast as I can. In front of you, you see Watt, Lamina, Zoran, Fairy, and Roderick. These are a group of mercenaries that Roderick had tasked together from the Hall of Mercenaries to investigate a series of disappearances that were linked with a traveling carnival. The party was ambushed in an Everbloom forest by a group of would-be assassins. Um, we know that this is Dungeon uh, Select Canon Universe because Matrim was there. Uh, the party then traveled to a village called Dewberry, where they investigated uh, a, a tavern called the Drunken Dummy, because there was nobody present in Dewberry. There were, there were no people. They found a rotting horse, okay, on its last, mm. its last leg of life. That part made uh, me sad. You know, the town was empty, and they, they chose to investigate a tavern, and inside the tavern they found... Um, a hidden little lockbox compartment that had some gold. Uh, it had a, a little potion of poison that one of you nabbed. And a little wanted poster or bounty poster, maybe a hit, on a man named uh, Migal Hull. You then encountered a little boy outside of uh, a carnival tent. His name was Gentry Hull. And he sounded like this. And, Fuck that kid, uh, dude. He didn't really know. He fucking what was going did. On. And oh no, he didn't really have a lot of answers, as other than the fact that a bunch of people went into the tent and then they've never come out. So you investigated inside of the tent. You found the wagon, and you went inside the wagon, suspecting it to be magical. You went through a wardrobe, and you ended up in what looked to be Tasha's carnival. Uh. You started out by fighting some dream weavers who were mentally affecting some of the townspeople in that opening room. You had walked through one of the linking portals and ended up in a room where a man was being tortured by a large burlesque, almost undead looking man uh, with lots of chains, pulling the soul out of a townsperson. Uh, you did not fight him. Instead, what you chose to do was, as you were leaving that room, because he did not seem like he really wanted to fight you very much, uh, you attacked him, and he got very mad. And then behind, behind you, that portal had sealed. You then entered another room where the entire basis of this room was connected to mirrors. Uh, all of the walls, the, the, the ground, the, the ceiling, it was all mirrors. And if you, if you looked hard enough inside of those mirrors, you saw corrupted versions of yourself. In fact, some of you even accidentally touched mirrors and became corrupted Yikes. versions of yourselves almost for a moment. <laughs> uh, the mirror room then started to collapse, and you all barely escaped with your lives. And you ended up in that same hallway as you exited the Laughing Man's portal. You tested to see whether or not the blackness extended forever by throwing a die, and it came right back and hit one of you. <laughs> and finally, you entered one more portal, the only one available to you, and you, you came into this room that was 
that looked circular in nature because of how light was shining from what looked to be a ceiling, but you're not sure if it was a ceiling or not, uh, with a man sitting in the center of, a room, of the room in a chair. And the description that I gave you was that darkness was extending in every direction. The only light source was a beam of light illuminating a seated creature or a man in front of you. I wanted you to imagine a culmination of everyone in your party as though you all somehow had a child with a bit of everyone's characteristics. And then the again, to imagine that child was an adult with all of the training, knowledge, and wisdom that you all have. And then finally to imagine that that creature was sitting in a chair staring at you uh, with absolutely no way out of this room. The door behind you disappears. Okay, there's, there's no doors that you can visibly see around you. Um, and he looked at you and he said, it took you long enough. He goes and he stands up from his chair and snaps his fingers and all around him the, the red and black checkered flooring disappears, and what you see around you now looks to be the town of Dewberry. Empty, okay? Wind is, is blowing. It looks like it's about to start raining. And he steps, he, t he takes one step forward towards you, <laughs> and he says, give me a memory. And I will stop it there. Go. No. Uh, I will say, do we all need to give you a memory or just one of us? He'll take another step forward towards you. So he's, he's about 25 feet from you now, the group of you. And he will say, I'll repeat myself. Give me a memory. I um. <clears throat> All right, um, you, can you can you like tell us what you're gonna do with that? Because I have plenty of bad memories that I kind of want to get rid of, but I don't know. Like if you're gonna throw them back at me, I'm, I, I don't really like that. So <laughs> like, and otherwise you can just have me remembering the fact that I got in here because I'm already bored. So uh, <laughs> what what you do, his own game. I remember this conversation so we're having right now. Huh? <laughs> he, he chuckles. Oh, smart. I like that. It's smart. He chuckles under his breath, and uh, he does like a quick little, and what you see is once again, you're, the scenery around you shifts. You're no longer in Dewberry. Instead, you seem to be in what looks to be like, um, it's like a mountainous dwarven village, and there's a lot of dwarves around, but uh, there oddly oh. seems to be one oh, human oh. human family uh, oh. bus bustling through the you know the, the packed streets um and he will once again repeat himself and say i want a memory and i want it to be a significant one and he'll take oh, another I, he'll take another step towards you and he's i gonna, think you're oh, already oh. going with one aren't you just fucking bring it do it so he'll he'll reach his hand out Okay, so he's about 20 feet from you, and he reaches his hand out. Dude, you gotta come closer. Like, I, my arms are not that long. You can see me right there. Just, what, what are you doing? I, I mean, if you want to just walk up to him, instead of him coming close to you, know, just say She's all right, and I, I, I walk up to him business. and place my hand in his hand. Okay. Hey, so, no funny business, all right? He looks you square in the eyes, and he smiles a very toothy grin. Um, as of this moment, he looks like a lion, um, a lion who is standing behind you Yeah. and, uh, shakes your hand and he says, give me a memory and make it a significant one. Well, um, how about that meal that my parents got to eat, but not me. You know that one? And he says, oh, I know that one. So your, your mind goes blank for a second.
and you forget entirely what you did to your family. It's now no longer a part of you. Any kind of character growth or any kind of um, personality that you may have developed from doing that particular action in your past, uh, it's now gone. And instead, he replaces it. He replaces it with a new memory. Oh, oh, I and the like memory that. that he replaces it with is this vision of like a, a treasure cache back in back in that village. And for whatever reason, your desire to go and investigate that cache is one of the most overwhelming senses that you feel or have ever felt in your entire life. And he lets go of your hand and he says, thank you. You, uh, you all right? I feel fine. I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, don't feel like much happened, but I, I, I kind of got somewhere to be, to be honest. So it did. Right now I'm good, but if we can just get, I just, you know, anyone likes money? Um. I mean, yeah, of yeah. course, but I feel like that, that's not really what's most important right now. We're in some weird fucked up. Yeah, all right. Let's maybe get out of that first. But we're done with that, you know. Wait, uh, if, um, it's open, come big see lads. Uh, my friend would say, right? Yeah, sure. Wait, um, where's the exit? How do we move on? Friend, for a moment, um, the lion, he... He kind of takes a step backwards from Ferry, and he roars. And as he roars, the scenery once again around you changes. And you find yourself all to be in what looks to be a very large home. Um, you see in the corner of the room... small half orc child a little girl oh man stabbing oh, what looks to be a larger orc man and he once again says <laughs> to the Yikes. whole party i'll take one more memory it's a pretty fella isn't he fucking hungry that's what he is his appearance shifts <laughs> he's no longer uh, a large lion. Instead, what he looks like is a pale-faced vampire man. Who looks like Roderick. And some fella? <laughs> I guess seeing the, the image he's created, I'll just walk forward and say, guess it's my turn. And I guess if he still has his hand out, put my hand in his but the memory sure? he's the memory he's starting to depict isn't the one i w would give if i can choose okay so he he shakes your hand and once again brings you in close and smiles a very toothy grin and says one memory please i will give him the memory of one of the like most intense battles i fought in my military career but it's one the memory in particular seeing most of the the legion i was i was commanding is already dead they're already down there's only a handful of us left and the memory is me looking to my left and being too slow to stop the attack of the enemy soldier as he puts a spear through a half elven woman who it seems that i I'm very attached to and very upset that I could not save her. He goes, oh, that's very significant. And your mind goes blank. And as your mind goes blank and it comes back into reality, you realize for a moment that you have a son. What? And your oh, son's God. Name, your son's name is Gentry Hull. Oh, oh, fuck that. No. Fuck that and kid. Dude. For whatever reason, you hate this kid. 
Well, that's he, not wrong. Is he swapping <laughs> the memories around of people that have previously interacted with him? Probably, oh, yeah. Dude. He de- this kid doesn't really impress you very much. He's a whiny little brat. And you know that kind of makes you a horrible parent for thinking <laughs> like that. Um, but you know that your son's waiting outside. Oh, disgusting. Oh, and God he damn. takes another five feet backwards. And he says, I'll take one more memory, please. And he does a little bit of a bow. And the scenery around you shifts once again. And now what you see is almost like a... It it almost looks like you're in, like, a graveyard. There's, like, mists about. Um, oh, you fucker. And I mean, he used to, he looked like you a second ago, so... In, in the opposite corner of the room, kind of, like, to the, the southwest of all of you, you see what looks to be uh, someone, like, biting into and tearing into the neck of a woman. Nice. At that moment, his appearance also changes once again. And he becomes... Um, he, be- he becomes what is basically identical to Lamina, who... He just shook hands with. Then he repeats himself and he says, One more memory, please. And he sticks his hand out. At my compatriots. How long has this gone take, dude? I'm like, it. How many? Hey, do you fucking turn, alright? Fucking pipe down, prick. Yeah. Wasn't that good? at the scenery depicted and a small tear will shed but at the same time you can see Roderick getting very very angry and he how far away is this guy from me? Um, I would say about 30 feet now he's taken some steps 30 feet some steps back I'll step okay. forward five feet. As much as these memories haunt me, they've made me. And I'm not giving them away. And I want to cast Acid Splash. Acid Splash. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. I need him to make a dexterity saving throw. Pull up Lamina's character sheet. What? Because <laughs> oh, he's me right now. I can oh, I can tell up. you what the stats are if you want. Uh, it's a four. Yikes! He rolled like shit. Bet. You rolled a four. Yep. Wait, there's no way he could have uh, rolled a four with my stats. A dexterity saving throw. Yeah, I have a plus five to dex saves. Oh, oh you're right. Sorry, I just followed the two. It's a seven. He probably <laughs> seven. Uh, still fails. So he take. Five points of acid damage. If I take this point, this damage, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, me too. Actually, I didn't think about that. You <laughs> magically splash him with acid, and you hear the hissing of of skin as it burns his extended hand. And in that moment, he um. Let's see. Oh no. He immediately pulls out his long sword and he charges. Here we go. He charges at Roderick. That's fine. I'm not hurt. I don't care. <laughs> and as he's running towards you, um, technically he is running past both Fairy and I believe Lamina. Because we've so already given a, our memories. You have a choice here. Are you going to take attack? You see that he's charging Roderick. What are you going to do? I'm going to take a shot. I'm not because it's discon- cause it looks like me. It's disconcerting and I'm thrown off and I don't know what would happen. So I don't. I'm going to take okay. a shot. So he runs past your, or he runs, I guess, into your immediate area of threat. And I'd like to see what you're going to do. 
I'm uh if he comes towards us, me, past me, I'm just quickly grabbing my uh heavy crossbow and just try to hit him in the neck, in the back, in the front, in wherever he is at the point that I'm <laughs> shooting. In the it's, wherever. Uh, in the wherever. We'll say that uh, as he begins charging at Roderick, you you whip out your yeah. crossbow. Okay. Uh dice. No dice. So many dice, but you can never find the right ones. Uh, natural one. Let's go. Oh, nice. Yo, nice. So as he's as he's running uh, towards Roderick, you you take out a bolt and you fire it at him, and he deflects it like a Jedi with his long sword. Pew. And he yells, "Give me a memory!" And he is going to make uh, just a basic melee attack against. Roderick. We don't see. That is a 28. <laughs> <laughs> Does a 34 yeah. hit? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Does uh, a 1 yeah. million. Okay, so you take 14 points of slashing damage. As oh, fuck me, dude. Drive <laughs> his long sword across your chest. <sighs> Uh, oh, I know yourself. Don't piss off, magic dude. Go ahead. I guess at this point, I'm gonna ask you to roll initiative. Woo! Yikes! I need combat music. Ooh! I have a question for the DM. Yep. Would my wolf still be there? It should be. Yep. Okay. Good. Wolf. Nice. Yo, battle music. Bo, 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 bo. Okay. Did anybody, <laughs> did anybody roll over the nineteen? Me. And me. Oh, I got a twenty-one. Natural twenty for a twenty-three. Oh shit. My what? So Doron is first. Critical roll die. Critical roll die. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And then we'll just do order from there. So bel below that number, what did we roll? You I got a twenty-one. Twenty-one. I don't know if you, if you heard that. Yeah, I got, I got, I got that. Okay, 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 okay. I got a fourteen. <clears throat> so we have Watts, Lamina, and then Barry. Uh, six. Uh, okay. So, uh, Zoran, you just saw this creature that kind of looks like Roderick. Or sorry, I thought it looks like me. Like, kind yeah. of looks yeah. like Lamina. Slash Roderick across the chest, who is basically right next to you. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, what will you do? Well, I heard him scream, give me a memory, right? So I will just look at him and I will give you something to remember. And... <laughs> oh, oh, my boy! <laughs> I will go as my... Uh, bonus action sends my wolf towards him for some nice uh, bite attacks or a bite attack. Okay. Get him. That's a 19. It hits. Nice. So that is 2d6. Jesus Christ, okay, so it's 10. That's 13 piercing damage. Okay. Does he classify as a creature? Uh, at the moment, he's a half orc. Uh, so he'd be a humanoid, I guess? Oh, so he's humanoid? Uh, I mean, humanoid is a creature. Are creatures? Like, they're so creature. Sure. Yeah. 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 In, that case, in that case, I need you to make a strength saving throw. 11. You fail. And you're now not from. <gasps> oh, fuck. fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Big of wolf, man. Coming through just like last time. And as my action, because uh, Roderick is right next to me and I saw that he took qu quite a bunch of damage, I will just uh, put my hand on him and uh, cast Cure Wounds 
at oh, nice. first level. Because I don't want to do too much just now. Awesome. And you gain... Jeez, I'm voting very well. You uh, get 10 hit points back. Yeah, nice. this motherfucker really almost like halved my HP pool, dude. With <laughs> Gnarly. Gnarly. Thank you. And I'm... Uh, uh, gonna do one step backwards. And okay. that's my turn. Okay. Um, it's technically Roderick's turn. Um, Hello. I'm going to say... I'm gonna just make the call. For the sake of the fact that you initiated combat, mm -hmm. I'm gonna... I'm going to escape your turn. Because you were the one that... With the acid splash? If, if, if everything is kind of happening in a six second span, and you just got slashed across the chest after just taking an attack, I'm going to save for yeah, the purpose fair, of fair this enough, enough, fair skip. Enough. Uh, it's now my turn, and I'm just going to use all of my movement to stand up. Yeah. Um, I'm going to shout one more time, give me a memory, and he is going to extend his hand towards Roderick. Uh, for the purposes of this, I will say you can use your reaction, if you'd like, to touch his hand. I spit. <laughs> a little of my own blood at his hand. Nice. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh boy. My memories made me who I am. You know? That kind of vibe. Uh. I will use my bonus action to cast Crimson Right. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> and I will take three damage to give myself an extra d6. Uh, let's just say, um, Laura, what are the damage types that you can choose between for your? Um, I'm pretty sure it's any type. It just is of my chosen type. So like cold, fire, force, radiant, necrotic. I think you can just choose. Anything that's a valid damage type. Okay, I will choose fire. And once again, uh, I will swing my longsword at Roderick. Okay. Um, that is a 15. 15? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. Laura has a plus 9 to attack. Fuck me, dead. Well, wait, what weapon are you attacking? Oh, the crimson, right? Yeah. No, I have a... Longsword. Yeah, so I technically have a plus 10, but that's because I have a plus 2 longsword. So unless he has like a, a duplicate um, of my longsword. Okay. Okay, so you take... Mm hmm 16 points of fire damage. I'm gonna uncanny dodge that. Okay. So that means I take half. Okay. Turn. What? You're up. Well, fuck. This is me, yeah. Okay. I will. Um. If I wait, is he for me? He's like right up. I'm um, right up. Right. Uh. Yeah. If you guys were kind of all standing side by side, okay. the only ones like that he's passed are Lamb me... and Barry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. And they're like ten or fifteen feet away. I'm just gonna back up like ten, fifteen feet. See if he doesn't fucking notice me. Yeah, and then she cast Eldritch Blast. 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 Hell yeah, brother. Blast. I'm going to Eldritch Blast this man now. I'm going to uh, do two. I fire two, two, two bolts at it. Okay. Uh, one is a 17 to hit. It and one is a 23. They both hit. And that is four. That's on this. Uh, 13 <laughs> points of damage total. Okay. Only two hits. Is that all you, my turn? You fire two Eldritch Blasts, very similar to how you almost uh, completely obliterated one of those Dreamweavers way back when, right into the chest of this Chimera-like being, and you hear, like, half-orc screams echo throughout the room uh, mm. as you're 
almost doppelganger-like party member um, is now, like, burning at the chest. Uh, Lamino, you're up. Okay. You, and, you allowed him to run by you, but yep. I can let you make a, a decision. Okay, what what do you mean? You get a turn. I'm oh, you get a well, turn. yeah, okay. Um, I, so I haven't felt anything. What, like, seeing these attacks land, I don't feel anything. Nope. Okay, so then, because I'm pretty sure I'm fine, there's no mirroring or tethering happening, I'll just go in with the longsword. Just the, he, duplicating the attack he did to Roderick, since he likes to copy things. Uh, dirty 20. It hits. Well, you should know if it hits. It's your AC. Oh! <laughs> True! True, dude. Okay. Um, you want to tell us your AC real quick? No. Um, <laughs> that's 17 points of slashing damage. And then I get a second attack, because 5th level... That's an 18, which hits for the second one. I rolled a 10 on the d10 again for another 17 points of slashing damage. Okay, so you charge slash. the chimera-like being that X looks like slash. Elf, and you uh, absolutely cut this body into four <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, oh, Zoro. Being that you just cut, cut down yourself, yeah, it's real weird. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, <laughs> here I avoided it the first time, and I was like, uh -oh. okay, it seems fine. Uh -oh. 11. You fail. Yeah. Oh, I. Madness, let's go. I get a point of continuing madness. How much you want to bet? You fall unconscious. Again? Why is oh, it always me? Fuck. Is it uh, conscious or zero hit points unconscious? You just fall unconscious. Okay. You're not okay. just unconscious. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, Barry, you're up. Oh, oh, I should explain what happened. So you yeah. just saw this body. You just saw this body get cut apart, and as you see this body get cut apart and fall to the ground, um, rather than there being a corpse there, you see a. And you now see a lion that looks exactly like one. Oh, if we kill it each time, it's going to be like killing us, dude. Fuck. Okay. This is you die great. in the video game, you die in real life. Yeah. Like... Um, Barry, it's your turn. Um, How far away am I from Lamina? Uh, like five or ten feet. Can I try and like with my foot see if I can wake her up if she's okay just quickly tap <laughs> just kick me a little bit I, I don't need her to <laughs> you know to wake up just to see if she's still breathing whatever if she's conscious enough for me to take some shots at this too let's do a very very quick medicine check all right all right all right uh, let's see if your if your taps wake her up 14. Okay, she wakes up. Hell yeah. But she's nice. pro. Nice. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Can I Keep still going. shoot? Yeah. Uh, um, sure. I will say, though, um, as of this moment, uh, this lion like chimeric being shows absolutely no hostility towards you. And it shows no hostility uh, towards the now woken up lamb. Because we gave him memories. Oh, He's not mad at us. Eyes, it, its eyes are strictly focused on Roger Craven. Even though I just yeah, murdered the fuck out of him. He don't care. Party, you know? Like, that's still my friends. I'm, I'm, no, uh, I'm gonna kneel down and take two very aimed shots at this dude. Hey. Uh, I'm, uh, well, I say aimed. I'm use uh, the sharp shooter feet. Uh, which weirdly he's, he's just gonna get back up. <laughs> what do we do? Uh, with two of them, so I'm taking two, both with sharpshooter. Um, so that would oh, nice, that's the same roll. Two, four, sixteen to hit. Yep, hits. Nice. Uh, that longer. totals on. <coughs> holy fuck! I'm sorry, math. I, I'm a musician. I can only count to eight, and it's more than eight. 
Under uh, 16 uh, bars? Plus twenty plus eight, uh, thirty-five. Okay, is it thirty-five 35. or is it? Thir you said nine plus twenty plus. Eight. Yeah, and then plus four. Sorry. So that's, <laughs> or, that's actually 43. forty-one. Hang on. Um, yeah, it's two shots. Uh, both. I'm sorry. Nine plus no plus eight, and Seven, then eight. plus twenty. What, thirty-seven. Yeah, thirty-seven. Okay. Piercing damage. God damn. Wow. Okay. So, uh, seeing this chimeric being become Lot for a split second, uh, and quickly kicking Lamina awake, you <clears throat> kneel down and you take probably two of the most precise shots you've ever made in your entire life. Boom. One of them goes right through the forehead, the back Ugh. of the forehead, through Lot. Oof. One of them goes right through damn. the heart. Uh, <laughs> And this being that looks like Watt instantly falls to its knees and falls apart. Watt, I would nice. like you to make a wisdom saving throw. It's gonna say we're just this is just gonna keep happening. Ah uh, yeah, just gonna keep going till I'm bored. That is it. a four. Oh. <laughs> you fail. <laughs> it's the only time I can shoot my friends without actually shooting my friends. All right. <laughs> you are now stunned. Stunned? I'll take that. I'll you're take now, stunned. You're now stunned. Oh, it's like a blue, eh? It's like a blue. For reference, what? You now have two points of continuing madness. Lana, you have two. Zoran, you have zero. Yes. Barry, you have two. And Roderick, you have two. Back to the top of the round. It is now. Zoran. Yikes. Oh, me. oh and okay. the chimeric what being is... then once again shifts. Mm hmm. And he becomes what looks to be uh, your compatriot who just slaughtered a lion, a human with a crossbow. Oh boy, <laughs> this one's tough, guys. Still, <laughs> still looking directly at Roderick, though. Okay, fair enough. Oh boy. Yeah. I always wanted to you get you back when you worst calling me a clown. And I'm uh, just gonna get my, my wolf back into action. Put on a uh, nice little chunk. Oh. Oh. And not a natural 20. Oh I swear. Best thing, point. best dice I ever bought. <laughs> this is fantastic. Um, Alright, so I, I just doubled the, the damage die, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay, so. Yes. Whoopsies. <clears throat> My bad. That's... I hit a button on Discord by accident. Be good. How dare you. That's 21 damage. Okay. And as my action... Do I have to make a, th a saving throw for being... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All of the another 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 strength saving. 22. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, so <laughs> you're fine. The fairy look like look life just kind of pushes the wolf away. Like, get away from me. And as my action, I would do. Do I want to do this? Fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna do thunder wave. Okay. That's my. That is how much to the eight. Seven. Twelve damage. Okay. Is Laura's mic doing that for anyone else? Yeah, Laura's mic's getting yeah. a little... Yeah. Doing what? Yeah, just a little, a little bit. Static That's weird. weird static noise. I don't know why. Okay. So, you emanate a almost thunder wave-like magic force from your hands, and it booms through the body of this human being, and he kind of shrugs it off. The next up is Roderick. Hello, Bobby. His, his hand is still extended towards you. Um, I will unsheath my two daggers. And um, does <clears throat> there there is homies in melee with the dude, right? Uh, you have 
my wolf for sure. Zoran next to you, uh, in front of Zoran is the wolf. Uh, would the wolf count as an ally? To me? Yeah. I would think so. Okay. Yeah. That means and I can sneak attack. Lamina is technically flanking from behind. Oh shit! Yeah, Although she's, she's, on the ground. she's on the ground. Yeah, no. I'm still. Okay. Well, I shall uh, take my one dagger and I'm just gonna try and cut his fucking hand off, dude. Fuck it. Okay. So, whereas he like extends his hand, I'm just gonna. Well, I'm gonna dagger dagger because I can bonus action off hand attack. So, I'm just gonna take. My goal is to just plant both my daggers just in his hand and try and fucking just mangle it, really. So for the first attack, that is it's a natural 17 plus 6, 23 to hit. Nice. Yes. And the second is an 11 plus 6, 17 to hit. They both hit. Nice. So I got my sneak attack because uh, there's homies. Hell yeah. So you want to, do you want me to just pile up damage? Sure. Like, give you a total amount? That's the fun part of it. Okay. Though, so, sure. Mm. <laughs> quickly see, quickly check one. how many. Sneak attack. 3d6, Pog, dude. Yeah, we're level 5. So that is a total of 16. 7 is 23, plus one of my fires. And plus 3. Times two, so plus six, so that's, ooh, baby, so that's six, 13, plus 16, 29 points of damage. Yeah, so you, you just... I just try to mangle the cunt with my daggers. You completely cut off <clears throat> the fairy lookalike's arm. Slash ah! Fucking oh, boy. You, you, you see blood Damn. pour, you see bone, you see, like, uh, just a mangled arm completely. Um, and he kind of nice. slumps over and hits the ground. Uh, Fairy, I would like you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. We can't all fade this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, someone succeed. Yeah. Damn Four. it. Damn it! <laughs> so... For fuck's sake, dude. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Guys! <laughs> um, Fairy, you are now considered incapacitated, and you spend <laughs> the next ten minutes screaming. Uh, oh my god, 10 right. minutes? Ten should, minutes. I, Yo. should I RP that or <laughs> more vocal cords? I'm like, sure, oh, I'm oh. sure girlfriend would love that. Just hears you screaming oh, no, for 10 minutes. Oh, then oh, go no, for no. it. No, no, he just has to scream, record it, loop it, put it in the soundboard. <laughs> That's true. I play the metal bands. I, I, I can, I can scream. <laughs> um, Fairy, you now have three points of continuing magic. Fucking hell. It's always less than my oh real life. Oh. All I will say is, uh... Okay, well, more than one. Just be careful. Be careful. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Like, saying that as if we have any influence here, James. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I will uh, now. So, the chimeric being will reform into uh, a Roderick lookalike. Oh, so bloody handsome devil, is he? <laughs> Uh, once again, he will say with his his new hand sticking out, directed at Roderick, give me a memory, and he will wait. Not interested in what you're selling. Try the next <sighs> door. Okay. Um, he will. Isn't it my turn? I've lost turn. track. Don't worry. No, you're 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 low in the street. You're after him. I'm pretty oh. sure. No, it's me Lame. then you. It's yeah. him, me. There are two initiatives. You roll shit. Remember? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he will from his his belt whip out what looks to be a very fine looking rapier. Oh no, no that's my rapier, quick, guys. With a very quick frontal stab. He will try to Thrust. poke around your chest. Mm. Um, that is a 12 to hit. Misses! Stupid idiot! I'm gonna Not fucking Fortnite hit. dance on him, dude. <laughs> and the, the 
knowing yourself so well, seeing that rapier come out, you know the exact movement that's about to happen, and you subtly, like, create a gap between the left side of your chest and your arm, and the blade goes right through nothing. And he whips it back, expecting to see blood there, but disappointment on his face. Um... <laughs> Bonus action. He will use his cunning action to disengage from all of you. And he will uh, move back northwest across the room, disengaging from all of you. Uh, so he's he's now about 25 feet from the group of, I will say, Roderick, the wolf, uh, fairy, even further away from Watt. I think that's like 35 to 40 feet. And from Lamina, it's about 20-ish feet or so. Um, mm -hmm. And he will scream out, I just want a memory. I don't think they can hear him because I'm screaming my little <laughs> <out. Come on. laughs> And I'm closer uh, to them. What? You are up. I mean, I'm stunned. So... Okay. <laughs> I don't really know what I can do. Do I get to save from the stun or is it just my existence now is like <gasps> <laughs> oh. I I recall this happened I recall this happened in the first session and I did not remember what it was. The if it's like when like the monk stunning strike thing happens the same kind of stun all they do their whole turn is just rolling to save from the stun and then if they succeed turns over What kind of roll was that? It you that would depend and often on what's causing it. Often it's wisdom, repeat, but it depends on repeat the saving throw. Repeat the saving throw yeah, that was okay. used to let's, initiate the stun. Let's yeah. do a wisdom saving. Oh, I, I'm well. really good at these guys. <laughs> Six. Nice. No, you fail. Oh, really? So you was still... it a DC five? <laughs> you are still. <laughs> Lamina, you're up. You're on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna. Fairy woke me. Oh, wait, Fairy's not unconscious. Fairy's just screaming his head off. Um, I will. Can this be my bonus action? Tell me if it can or not. Of just me yelling out to the group. Clearly, this isn't working. Just give him a memory, or we'll be stuck here forever. Trying to persuade the group that have not You've done so. You've already given him a memory. You it. fucking nitwit. I'm not giving him mine. Piss off. All right, then in that case, my I'm gonna use my movement to go up to the guy, and if his hand is still out, like, but he, I know he wants Roderick, I'm just gonna like somewhat aggressively. He, he's more like this. He's got two hands out. Okay. Two hands. Well, then I'm just gonna take one, like my right, and clasp his right, so it's like this, and just kind of like draw him into me a little bit, and be like, if you let us go, just take take mine, take all of them. I don't care. I don't like that. I don't like all. that at all. I'm not a big fan of that. Roll me a persuasion. It's not gonna be good. I have a oh. negative modifier. Please fail. This. Please fail. Please so he doesn't take money to kill you. Uh, please twelve. Fail. He looks at you, and he, again, he grins a very, very large, toothy grin. Oh, you, no. you almost see because he's currently Roderick. You almost see like. Face. The, the, grin, the grin is so big, like the the mouth is huge. Um, and he says, "I'm in his jaw, shatter says, style." I'm not interested in you, and he pushes you away five feet. Thank God, dude. Rude. Oh, fuck. That, was easy, that, that literally, that is like fast track to getting yourself killed. It's for various reasons. I had motivate the character would do it, and that's, that, that's definitely your action. Yeah, that was my action. That's my whole turn. I've used movement, bonus, and action. That's my turn now. Okay. Uh, fairy. I'm incapacitated and screaming. <laughs> you are? Uh, would That's... you like to do a little roleplay for us? <laughs> <laughs> go on. Hold on, let me turn Opti you... down, like, by 50%. Yeah, I 50%. think you underestimate my mics, but no, I won't. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I won't. Okay. <laughs> you are, you are, unfortunately, like on your knees with your hands on your ears just belting out uh, a wail you're composing the next b-saddle song yeah <laughs> uh zoran just focus you are up. <laughs> he was he was like 25 feet away from me right yep all right you know a ranger shoots a bow i i uh, i put my wolf uh, after oh, yeah. him 
So, uh, here we go again. Oh, shit. Here we go again. That it's is a... Good. 19 plus 5, that's 24 to hit. Hello. I can hit. Uh, 2d6, that's a 6. That's a 4, that's 10, that's 13 damage. Okay, I will use my uncanny dodge to have it. Okay. He has that, the piece of shit, because he's me, fucking pickle. I, I still want a strength saving throw from you. We're gonna have to kill him as all five of us, aren't we? If, like, if that's so. the I only other that's, way. I think that's going I on fail. here. It's looping. Fail. You fail, so you're, you're prone again. Okay. He embraces the wolf as it takes a <laughs> Well, doggy, Bubbles. doggy hug. Question. Can I use, because that was my bonus action, can I use a different bonus action as an action, or no? No. I don't no. think so. Okay. Well, there goes, there goes action. <laughs> um, because usually things like bonus actions are reserved for, like, extra effects, or, like, really cool effects. Yeah. I'm going to say no. Okay, fair enough. So no inspiration this turn then. Okay, good to know. Instead, oh, she's quiet. Does this do damage? No. It does. Big pork jam. I'm uh, gonna use my own name and I'm gonna cast Shatter. Because Yo, my boy. Yeah. Yo, I'm guy. gonna use myself. I know, I know that guy. I know, right? Can I get a constitution saving throw? Please suck at this. 30 20. Oh, fuck you. So you only take half damage. That's pretty okay. Uh, that is 3d8. That's 8. <clears throat> That's another 8. That's a 6. That is 16 22. Wait. That's 11 on the damage. And that's it. Um, it's 22. The the uncanny dodge only halves the first attack from the wolf. Yeah, yeah but you, you oh. but you made your oh I see for that. safe, so it's half. So right, 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 right. Okay. So it's not just eleven. Oh. Okay. And that's me turn. Roger. SpongeBob, me boy. Um. He looks like me, doesn't he? Yep. Um, okay. I could use some HP. <laughs> Not on him. Uh, so I'm thinking. Just have a little, have a little taste of me own neck, you know. Um, I'm going to approach. Actually. Hmm. Hold on. What kind of spells do I have? I forgot. I created this character months ago. Oh. You and my dad coughing in the background, guys? No. Nope. But I have music nope. playing, nice. so. It means I set up my my voice fucking thingy well. Nice. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna just walk up. And as much as I want to bite him. To heal myself, I kind of just want to put some damage. Can you bite? Are you so considered? Go... Are you considered? Um, technically, yes, I think. Okay. I think so. I'm pretty sure your, technically your, your, I'm... your bite gets that bonus effect for things that are non construct or non undead. Ah, uh, because he's me, he's cunt. Okay, right, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking shank him twice then. Fuck it. Okay. Um. Oh, still there, right? Wait, is he prone? He's prone, and the wolves on top of him. Oh, dude, I get the I get advantage from the attacks against prone people, right? Uh, that works. Sure. I believe so. Yes. Nice. Do some damage. I'm okay. No. First, <clears throat> first jab is gonna be uh, 16 or four plus six, so 22 to hit. That is your AC against you, so yes, it does hit. Second attack is a 17 to hit, it also hits because of my AC. So both hit, damn. I get sneak attack because my, my fucking wolf buddy is here, dude. Let's go. Let's fucking go. 
Wolf buddy for the win. Boom. He's doing work. Boom. Oh, I rolled like ass, dude. Fuck. Uh, only one point of damage total. Ooh. Uh, you see yourself. Of damage. You see yourself being mangled by a wolf, and with a very, very quick few thrusts of your daggers, you just dive deep into the your own head on the ground. Ooh, sounds so creepy. And, and in killing yourself, uh, I would like a wisdom saving throw, please. Suck at these. That's my only negative modifier. Mm -hmm. And I'm using a fucking like online dice roll because I forgot my dice, so this is literally Oh no. <laughs> that would be um nine, so eight. Literally not a single one of us can make the save. We're none the wiser. Hmm. Oh boy. Um Stop oh, it. No. Don't say that. I don't like that. Stop it. For the next ten minutes. You oh, suffer God. from partial amnesia. <gasps> you know everything about yourself, but you do not recognize the people around you or remember anything that has happened before this particular moment. For the uh oh! Moment. Fuck. Oh. Hey, you you also God. Does that also point. give me. Uh, yeah, do I get extra continuing madness? Yep, you suffer from the point of continuing madness, and you are at three now. Okay. Motherfucker. Would you like to do anything else on your turn? As I look you, around very confused. As, as, as you see your own body morph into the man that is behind you, um, Zoran, who is a, a tiefling bard. Okay, it's my turn. Eric Being's turn. And he is going to. Don't like it. This could be a very big X. Cast X. Fireball! I don't like the DM thinking sounds, man. I hate it. Yeah? How's it feel? Pretty fuck she. <laughs> Looking up at the wolf that is on top of him, which is a little bit confused because now... It doesn't really have the intelligence to grasp that it's like in the process of attacking what looks to be its owner. Uh oh. The oh, right. The chimeric being is going to point a finger oh, right God. up into the chest of the wolf. Oh, and boy. it is no. going to cast oh. Hellish Rebuke. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh yeah. The creature has to make a dexterity saving throw. And this is what. Uh, Oh, the wolf cat gets plus two. Nice. Um, also, one moment, please. I need to find where this is on your Oopsie. sheet. Oopsie, I did it again. Um, Wait. I just got it. I didn't mean it. I go to move my mouse to go from like my character sheet to the music or something, and I click the wrong so, thing. Zoran, what kind of spell slots do you have at fifth level? I have. Let me see. I got two third level. Okay. Three second level, four first level. Okay, he's gonna cast it at third level. So the wolf has to make oh. a dexterity saving throw. Save the wolf. Save him. I, I now. I rolled a fifteen plus two, so seventeen. Your spell save is 14. 14, so yes. He wolf makes passes, it. He makes but, it. But. Half damage still? Means the wolf should live. Hopefully. 
maybe. The wolf takes 14 points of fire damage. Oh. Okay. Is he still up? Yeah. Hell yeah. You see, baby. you see wolf or the the wolf underbelly just become completely scorched by flames. Oh, and the fire baby. comes out from underneath the wolf and it howls in pain as that fire completely mm -hmm. torches the, the other baby. side of its skin. And he's also just going to quickly um, like push it off and stand up. And once again, he's going to hold his hand out to Roderick and say, I'll ask Hi. You for a memory. He is and nothing if not persistent. Turn. It's Watt. Watt is up. Yo, I'm just gonna see if I'm no longer stunned, baby. Nice. Yo, does a 12... D no, never mind. Does a 10 do it? Nope. You are still stunned. Let's go. Lamina, you are up. Uh, well, I tried to persuade group. Roderick's not having it, and he wouldn't take my backup offer. So I'll just take two more slashes with the long sword. And he trenches like, I guess we're doing this, and just like annoyed. Um, so that is. You get uh, two attacks. Yeah, fifth level. Damn, Extra I attack. Probably I probably could have knocked Roderick unconscious if I read the. <laughs> you probably could have. Um. One is an 18 to hit, and one is a 28 yeah. to hit. Yeah, they both hit. All right. Um, then, where's my other d10? Spell goes through that. There we go. First attack. Well, another 10 is 17 slashing damage. And the second one is 10 slashing damage. So 27 total. Okay, so you swing your sword twice, cutting up the front chest of your compatriot. Uh, blood seeping from the wounds, kind of like standing there, you know, breathing re really heavily. Yep. But he is still standing. And the bonus action, I'll just, like, whisper to him, offer remains three of my memories if you want to end this. He doesn't even look at you. I know. He's I... looking at Roger. That's my turn. Why are we here? Fairy, you're up, but unfortunately you are still screaming and can't really do much. Ten whole fucking <laughs> go, minutes, dude. Holy shit. We go back up to Zorong. If I had any type of magic, it's like restoration, I'd be trying to I help y'all, but I don't. Face, I... I'm, I'm just... <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Thing. <laughs> so, the thing here looks like, looks like me now. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck me. Um, you want to do this? Fuck it. I'm gonna look at what and just give a little bit of inspiration so he hopefully makes a saving throw next turn. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. And I will just uh, do a little classic. It's a little song I wrote. It's filled with inspiration, note for note. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully it will help you out a little bit. What do I get? A D6? That is a, hold up, you get a... Eight. It is a D8 at my level. So you, oh, yeah. you oh, yeah. can add. So hopefully that will Please. help. You only gave me a date. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. First date in years, Quiver. What wow. the ever do you mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to go that far, sorry. I mean, and... uh... Oh, heart cracking. As my action... I want to try something. Might, this might sound that's, pretty dumb, but I kind of want to cast... Thing, dude. Suggestion. Suggest you leave us Rod the fuck alone! No, on <laughs> Roderick. Oh. <gasps> to give him a memory. To see, if I, to see if I can get his memory back for at least time that I've known him, so he's up to date with why we are here and why we are fighting this creature. Oh. So he Suggestion. might be able. To... I don't know if suggestion can do that. But I can influence a creature, so I'm not sure if I can 
Just tell inches. him to think really hard. You can do it. Remember. Remember. <laughs> That's why uh, I said I want to try this, so I'm leaving that, that up to, to James if there's a possibility or not. If you can somehow convey within six seconds worth of time some kind of phrase or sentence that, ah, for, that, I'm too bad for that calms him or in, like, gives him understanding of the situation, then fine. But we're in the middle of combat, so like... Yeah, okay, so... Fair enough. Fair enough. In that case, fuck it, I'm just gonna attack myself. <laughs> Vehicles, why not? Nothing new there. Um, however, oh I'm just... my god, dude. <laughs> it's getting dark. No, um, I'm not gonna use any spells, I'm just gonna walk up to myself and I'm trying to. Uh, I grab my. Uh, rapier and I'm gonna try and stab myself. Okay. So. That's a 14 total, which it does hits. hit me. Yep. That's good. Barely hits me. For a whopping 5 damage. Woo. Everything counts. And you take a quick jab at you know, the lower portion of this slightly hunched over Zoran. Yep. He is unfortunately still standing. I had a feeling. Uh, that's my turn. Back to Roderick. Ooh. So I don't remember who any of these people are. Like, what do I know? There's one motherfucker just yelling you, constantly. You know, <laughs> you know who you are. Okay. You know your past. Okay. Um, you know that. Let's say you know everything prior to meeting these people. So you know about the. Okay, so I know people. that. I know that I am a mercenary. I know that, that yes. you were I've traveled in group form before. Sure. So with that, seeing these people all attacking this guy and not attacking me, would that mean that I can draw the conclusion that I, these people around me are on the good side? I want to attack this guy as well. Oh. I would say... Or no. I would say that you are intelligent enough as a, a human or a, a humanoid that you can quickly mm -hmm. come to that conclusion. Okay. If that is the case, then I'll just follow the example that has been set in these last few seconds that I do remember, the last six seconds or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, yeah, just... Isn't the same guy standing next to each other? <laughs> would you want to... Uh, Which one's the real one? Yeah, just, or do I attack? Which I'm just gonna <laughs> instead of instead of instead of dagger dagger, I'm going to get my plus one rapier out and just go for a quick like fucking fencing shit. Uh, so that would be I eight natural sixteen, dude. All my dice rollers, pog. <laughs> Natural 16 plus 7, so yeah. Nice. Yeah, but that fucking. That just lags the fuck out, though. Uh, that is a grand total of. Um, 19 points of damage. How would you like to kill Zoran? Ay, ay, ay. I mean, I, have, I got my rapier out, my extra sharp rapier. And I just want to kind of like, okay, can I stab exactly in the heart and just kind of like somehow just stab through his back? Sure. Yikes. So you the, the take a, Like the entire take... fucking uh, blade just sticks through, like goes into the chest, comes out of the back, and then I pull it out, there's this clean gaping Sweet. hole. You, in the confusion, and the, the, the almost like the temporary panic that you feel mm -hmm. from not knowing what's going on, throw forward one of the most powerful thrusts uh, of a rapier that you've ever done. Ooh. It stabs Zoran through the, through the heart. It rips the heart from both the pulmonary arteries and the aorta. 
the heart, the heart exits the back of his body. Cute. And as okay. as you rip the rapier backwards, the heart falls at its at Zoran's back onto the ground. Zoran, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Eighteen. Only one of us. Oh. You succeed. You you shrug off the the thought and sight of you being absolutely. Finally, good. someone made it. Oh. The chimeric uh-huh. being. Bonus action. Can I bonus action snack on the heart? Snack on the heart. You, 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 fuck yeah. as, as the chimeric <laughs> being falls to his knees, you quickly like saunter past him and grab the heart, and he looks up at you and just says, "I just." wanted a memory and he falls Who are you? forward <laughs> and he dies the chimeric what? being is dead and the dead, mist, dead the chimeric being is dead and the mist that you see around and the graveyard like site that was originally created disappears we are now back in a red and black looking room with tiles on Hell the ground yeah. a light shining from above and darkness around you from where you're all standing, um, a portal opens up on the right-hand side of the room, so the eastern side of the room. Uh, what do you do? Am I still stunned? Yeah, and is, is Fairy still screaming? Am I still fucking screaming my lungs out? Yeah, I mean, you guys are still in the situations that I'm you're just, in. Like, I just want to go over to Fairy, uh, I, I, I will, I will <laughs> grab Fairy by the shoulders, and just be like, cut it out! And just like... I don't think I've my body inspiration, because there's a 21 saving from being stunned. Yes, you're not stunned. Oh yeah. I'm just oh, shaking, sh- shaking we... fairy. What? What do you mean? <laughs> what you like, my friend? Huh? Uh, yeah. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> this is. Are you? Uh, did you hit your Why head is or he something? <laughs> Why don't you stab a cunt that looks like that cunt? Should I stab that cunt too? Or not? Can you stop no, asking so many no. questions? Can no, you stop no, asking no, no, so no. many questions in a row, please, friends? We trying to answer them, and you keep on interrupting the answers with <laughs> more questions. <laughs> I was like, I don't know my how shaking you guys are anything? talking when I'm just fucking did screaming. You, uh, did you uh, hit your head? Huh? I don't know. Well, that is not very. Hard. Can I make an insight check to the fuck is going on with Roderick? Sure. Meanwhile, does the shaking uh, do anything, or is Fairy just screaming while I shake him? Let's let's say you slap him a few times across the face. I pull an Edna mode and find like if you just go pull yourself together he, and the triple slap. He's, he's really face. shaken up, but like he. I'm going to use my pausing inspiration on this. The clarity. Ah, yeah, yeah. That is a 23. Oh, dude. My voice. <laughs> Sorry, we were doing insight against insight Roderick. Against Roderick. Roderick being a fucking just like memory loss. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you like it's high enough that I think that you can okay. see that he really doesn't know what's going on. No, don't look at he's not like. Being. I'm just be like, oh, for fuck's sake, really? And just look at what I'm like, we were just facing a guy asking for our memories, and you're confused to why he remembers nothing. Well, it's not really, because he didn't want to give away his memories. That's memory the first thing that way. has made a lick of sense since we brought I mean, I mean he sense. did not want to give away his memories. He said they made him who he was. Therefore, he probably took them by force. And I'm just going to walk up to Roderick and be like, you are leader. You brought us here to deal with whatever the fuck this is and just gesture around like evil circus traveling around people disappearing our job to fix it and the clowns uh, we don't know maybe it, i wish it was that simple huh? i think it's a clown <laughs> i think it is a little bit more uh, what? <laughs> again <laughs> a little bit more complicated than that a bit more no, uh it mindful it wasn't a clown so, I brought you here. Well, yeah. You, mm-hmm. you guys are using me out together. That makes no sense. Normally, I, I hire way more good people than you guys. Why would I? Oh. Maybe you're on a tight okay. budget. Yeah? I'm just going to grab you? the back oh, of his yeah. shirt and just push him towards the portal. Push Roderick McCoff. Yeah. Okay. So Watch it. As, as you're all kind of discussing this, uh, in the middle of the room, uh, where the chair originally was that Chimera Kron was sitting on, um, 
I would like you all to make a perception check. Oh, I'm really bad at these. Nope, natural one. Jesus. I see nothing. I'm too busy right, I mean, just being pissed off at Roderick. Perception, perception. 14, 19. Oh. Plus one plus 17. Natural 20? Okay. Natural 20, so 19? Right. <laughs> uh, Fairy and Roderick, the two of you see a very, very small vial where the, where the chair is. Um, what do you do? Looks to be filled with some kind of liquid. I'm still pushing Roderick towards the portal, so unless he like tries to fight, I'll, I'll be like, oh, wait, what was that? And I'll like try to. I'll, fucking... I'll go look at it, uh, pick it up, see what what color is the, the liquid. So you you pick it up. You can see that on the vial, um, in very very crudely scribbled letters, almost like the letters that you saw on like the posters inside the drunken dummy the ones that were posted all over the walls that look like maybe they were written in blood but like mm -hmm. very scratchy mm -hmm. looking joker haha -ha letters <laughs> um, <laughs> nice reference you you see the words calm emotions oh dude this this might come in handy hang on wait i put it away for for a little bit and i grab my water skin and just jug the whole thing. <laughs> the water yeah. skin, yeah. Your, your right. voice is slightly less hoarse now. <laughs> that, um, that's a little better. Um, <laughs> I, what's the still of body in, the, in, in his room? Pardon me? Is the body still, still there? Yeah. Is um, it my body? No, it's kind of deformed back into like oh, the okay, original good. amalgamation good. of everything. Okay. So you see like Roderick's arm, and you see Watt's tail, and you see, you know, the armor that Lamina wears. Okay, fair enough. Um, I mean, I, I, I did see the vial as well, right? Yep, you saw him. You saw it, and presumably you also saw Fairy pocket it. It's it's calm emotions. That's what it says. But uh, <clears throat> uh, I mean, if you drink enough beer, that same thing. <laughs> All right. Well, I've. Uh, I um, I'm gonna keep going. Again. Again. again, just another big push, Roderick, towards the portal, and then Not using my head I'll, to gesture I'll, I'll at the like, group. To let's go. And I'll I'll, 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 follow. I'll follow. Yeah, I'll follow. once he goes in. Same Z's. Okay. Um, you walk through the portal, and what you see is a large round bed made with satin sheets of black and red checkerboard. <gasps> we get to rest! <laughs> Resting on tables, you see a vast collection of miniature model towns that litter the room. Things like farms and chapels and rivers and bridges. You find examples of all of these different kinds of things across the room. Mm. Um, their details are carved very intricately. Um, you see one that is in the process of being built. Uh, I would like you all to quickly roll a perception check. Six. Here we go, here we go. Fourteen. Oh, go. At Eleven. Fourteen for me as well. Seventeen. Roderick, you recognize the drunken dummy in the carved model that is... Uh, okay, I would actually, normally, but I don't have my memory, actually, so I don't, you're right. right? You're right. Uh, <laughs> so... You you recognize what looks to be like just a little town, but you don't know. That's that's, that's quite detailed. That's nice. Um, well, even uh, there are other se there are other several items in the room. Uh, there's a large oval mirror with scintillating colors behind the glass. You see a brass lyre. You see a short sword with an emerald encrusted hilt, and a teacup resting on its own pedestal. Uh, you also see shadows moving behind a transparent blue curtain hanging from the west wall of the room. Now that you've entered this room, you do not see any immediate threat. What would you like to do? As soon as we see the mirror, I, I just turn to Roderick. To yeah, but I turn to Roderick and go, don't fucking touch that mirror. That You did that before. Ended bad. I will... Wait, uh, I, what, what, could, what could I should the mirror do? What's supposed to happen? Uh, I would Magic like to fucking circus. 
Uh, I would like uh, to look into the mirror to see if I can see the same thing as in the other room. Okay. Don't touch it. Just look. I'm not touching it. I'm just looking. He's very anal about not touching the mirrors. Um, so as you entered the room, looking like in the side view of your eye at this mirror, uh, it's roughly four feet tall, standing from the ground. And when you kind of see it indirectly, it, it shines colors of things like green and red and yellow, and they kind of dance across the glass. Um, as you look into it, uh, how close to the mirror are you? Oh, no. Motherfucker. What did I say? How close are you, are you normally if you're looking at the mirror? I would say... Well, are you looking directly a few at feet. the mirror from yeah. a few feet away? Yeah, just a few feet. Just uh, walks up to it and just looking into oh, it. Oh, dude, is, is he going to get grabbed by a set of arms just coming out of the mirror, dude? Yoink. Oh, dude. Again, it's I happening. Would like, I would like you to make a charisma mm -hmm. saving throw, please. Uh, 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 Lowers our windies. Our windies. True, he is a bard. That's a plus six. That's the face you want to see. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. uh, you look into the mirror. And mm -hmm. your reflection's a little bit distorted. Like, it looks like there's, like, weird intricacies about it. Like, maybe your head's, like, slightly too big. Maybe, like, one of your fingers is gone. But Ooh. nothing, like, too out of the ordinary. Um, it's my jaw up there. Maybe maybe you're a little bit rotund, <laughs> or maybe you're, like, slightly mm -hmm. taller. Your jaw's still there, don't worry. <laughs> uh, there, there doesn't seem really to be, like, anything strange about it as you look into it. It's like a 50-pound mirror. It looks like you could probably shatter it if you wanted it to. Okay. I would like to cast Detect Magic. In my the whole Eldritch fucking site. room glows. <laughs> <laughs> it gets are like you, a seizure you, from all the you, fucking different lights. Are you directing it at something? or? Are you... I mean, I'm just looking around the fucking room. I mean, I'll look at the... I'll... I'm not gonna look into the mirror, but I'll look at the mirror if that makes sense. Like kind of in that general direction of the mirror and see if it glows up. But for the most part, I'm just fucking like, the, like entire room. Just. Yep. So you cast detect magic on the mirror. The yep. mirror is very magical. Oh really? Oh, good. Good uh, guess. That's all I can really tell you. I'm gonna. Do I? <laughs> I'm gonna be the prick. Do you have any school of magic, or is it just like it's magical? Um. You can just tell me to fuck off and say it's just magic. <laughs> just magic, dude. Just magic, dude. Like, no, I, would mention, I, would I would mention. I would mention to the rest of the party that it doesn't look like the same mirrors as that we have seen before. That I didn't see uh, a weird, a very. Uh, it dangerous doesn't. It, it does not look. It doesn't yeah. look like the mirrors that you saw in the mirror room. This I don't is, care. Don't like, trust anything. This is a loose, like illusory magic, like. From the school illusion. of illusion. Illusion magic. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That's what's my mind is. Can I? I would like to oh, go yeah. look at the like emerald encrusted hilts because that looks fancy, and that seems in that Roderick would definitely, you know, okay. that would catch my eye. Um, what what would you like to do? Just investigate it, or um, what kind of what kind of weapon is it? It's a short sword. Short sword. Do I recognize like? craftsmanship or the handiwork because of the, 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 the you know the fancy hilt like um you can recognize that this is probably something that you've never seen before uh in your specific journeys you can okay. tell that whoever made this is likely um magical in nature or, or potentially an extremely proficient blacksmith Can I, you know, pocket said sword? You know, can I like hang it from my belt? Sure. So you pick up the sword. Um, you don't mind if I take this, right? And as I'm like already in process, so is it you know. is it with my detect magic still up? Because it lasts fucking ten minutes. It doesn't matter because I can cast it at will. With like a fucking it, cantrip. Is the it sword is magical. Sword? The sword's magical. Uh, as you pick up the sword. Oh no, Roderick. And we'll say we'll say at this point, in this immediate moment, your memory comes back. Oh no, don't. No. <laughs> so, you you know everything oh. that just happened, as well as right yeah. before. 
You'll see, like, my eyes go, like, do like a little, like, look around me. Right. Um, while you hold that sword, and while it is attached to your person, uh oh, the sword will hum a melody to you that you find either soothing or inspiring. Oh, your choice. Oh no. Um, no one else can hear this music. Oh, bad this week. Mm -hmm. Okay. When using the sword, you gain a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls. It also deals an additional 1d4 thunder damage on a successful Ooh. attack. Ooh. And when used in combat, as you swing it around, the sword sings loudly enough for everyone to hear it, breaking into a chorus of multiple voices, almost cool. as if like almost as if like a thunderstorm is happening. Uh, the emeralds in the hilt will light up and they will pulse with the rhythm of the humming. And the melody of That's sick. Sing I've got like cool. a, a rave sword. You yeah. have <laughs> a rave sword. <laughs> That's your okay. calming music. Um, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Heart style. Let's go. Um, could you maybe uh, wanna, you know, make a custom item and then add something here? Could I, could I, could I, will, like a I will screenshot recap? it for you and I will send it in the Discord. If my computer will allow me. Would anyone like to do anything else in this room? I mean, um, yeah, there was a, a there was a teacup, right? Mm -hmm. There is a teacup. Mm -hmm. Can I go look at the teacup? Yep. Just give me one moment. I'm inspecting the bed. <laughs> There's the sword. Because I'm a tiefling. <laughs> tiefling. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to be leafy about it? <laughs> Um, I would like you to, if you are, if you are looking at the teacup, I would like you to make me an insight check. Insight. Where's my insight? Plus one. I'm a little teacup. It's a 19. Plus one is a dirty 20. Okay. So when looking at this teacup, you see, you know, it's ivory in color. It's very exquisitely detailed with, um, you know, a gold filigree. It's on a pedestal for a reason. Like, someone's put this here because to you, you come to the conclusion that this likely has sentimental value to someone. Um, as you pick it up, or as you hold it, nothing happens. But you, you wonder to yourself, like, you know, why else would there be a teacup here in a room filled with what looks to be magical or treasure-based items? Um, like the, there is significance to what you're holding, but it doesn't do anything. So it's your choice about whether you or not you want to take it, or yeah, I'm or taking you it. Want to leave it there? Okay, I'm taking sure. it because it it might come in handy at some point, and okay. if not, I have some nice cup to drink some tea. Yeah. As a what? reminder, there are still some other things in the room. Mm -hmm. There what? is. I'm checking right. out the bed. I'm just gonna say, what the fuck else is magical in this room? Like, I'm, I am hard scanning it. Like, I can, I'll happily make like an investigation. Literally everything. Even the bed. So, I just want to see if I can chill out or not. Um, okay, we'll do this in the order of Watts because he technically casted Detect Magic first. So, sure. Um, the curtain that it looks like there are shadows moving behind it is magical in nature. Um, the liar is magical in nature. So if you don't know what a liar is, it's a musical instrument. Yep. Um, that's just kind of like resting on like the side of the wall. Um, The bed is magical in nature. Of course it is. As you as you look at the bed, so this is also to answer Barry. Um, you know, exquisite red and black checkerboard satin sheets. So you see like what look to be like small little chaotic waves from underneath the bed. Um I would like you to make 
make I'd actually I'd like I'd like anyone who wants to who is looking at the bed to make a perception check. I'm gonna be investigating. Everybody's focusing on my story, uh, bro. I'm Bear, listening to the sorry, fucking music. Fairy, Fairy and Watts, you don't have to because your passive oh. perception is where it needs to be. Oh, but if, nice. if you are looking at the bed and want to, uh, make a make a perception check. And I'm still looking at the teacup, so. Okay. So, Watts uh, and Fairy, you instantly pick up on uh, the fact that the sheets are as exquisite as they are. You you think that you could probably take them and they'd be worth about 100 gold if you Jesus wanted. Jesus, fuck the expensive bed sheets. They smell really bad. <laughs> uh, and it, appear, it, it almost looks like they've never been washed. But the Ooh. actual material that they're made of is very, very finely crafted silk. Oh my god, dude, this is actually perfect. Sorry, I just figured out. No, sorry. <clears throat> Short sword. I will. I will kind of ignore the bed for a second. Mm -hmm. I, it's, uh, it's Zorin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you? How are you playing the liar? Mm. Not, not, not my favorite, but it's okay. This one here has. I'll do. Bet you can do it. How um. Uh, Basically, is it? Do I sense like necromantic or like evil magic from this? Like, why? It's hard to say if it's evil or not, but do I, do I sense like bad vibes um, from the liar from my detection? Bad vibes. Does it play metal or not? <laughs> you don't. You don't sense that Does anything it, is pop punk. So let let's just say this: you don't really sense that most of the things that like we'll say most most of the things in this room are not really like. They don't have like evil intent. Okay. Um, if anything, this room looks as though it's just like a treasure re repository, and there happens to be a bed here, a very very nice big bed with nasty sheets. With very nasty, nasty ass sheets. You said there was I like will... a, a screen with shadows moving behind. Hold on. It? Hold on. We're we're yeah. still possibly yeah. dealing with the liar. Yeah. I will pass the liar. I will. I'll... Hmm. I will pick up the liar. <laughs> Okay. And pass it to Zarin. Okay. Nothing happened to me. <laughs> um, nothing yeah. happens to you. Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh. Uh, although you do get the sense that someone probably shouldn't play this unless they have strictly spent time with it. Okay. Um. Although nothing immediately happens. Is it a clear liar? I bet it's a clear liar, dude. And I, I, I'm, I'm not going to say more than that. That is my hint to you that. about. Yeah. I'm okay. It's Zara. It seems if you spend a bit of time with this, it might uh, help you. It might, it might, you might do something. It seems like a regular liar. So it might be worth adding to your collection. I bet it's the clear liar, dude. Okay, I will. Uh, I will take it. Okay, I will take it. So I have sent that to you in Discord, although, again, you now have understanding about it that your character doesn't, so mm. use that yeah, okay. uh, so. sparingly. We said we wanted to look at the draped shadow. Not draped look at, wall. I'm just asking, there was a, that there it was shadows moving behind it, that's what you described it as. Do yep. the shadows so have shadows, much shape to them, are... or are they just shadows? Like, do they look humanoid, do they look just formless, or? Um... You can't really make it out right now. There's, it's too. They're they're too dark of a color. All right, I just kind of like that first night at the campfire. I saw movement. Take my dagger and whip it at the sheet, hoping to pierce and go through. And if there's anything behind it, just fuck it. I'm over this whole place. <laughs> okay. Um. Andy. Your dagger bounces off the curtain. That's never happened before. Usually I make that. Usually it slices it pretty nicely. I'll go over and pick up the dagger again, keeping an eye on the sheet and like bending over slowly, like waiting to see if anything jumps out at me. Nope. It does look like there's something behind it, but now that I'm just standing in front of it, I just take the dagger manually and just like and just like slash down it, like a killer in a horror movie, and see if anything's behind it. As you slash, it goes boom, and you bounce off. Uh, what the. F Fuck. Some I've heard of that material curtain. before. I think it's called spandex. <laughs> Yo, can I wear that? Be my guest. Can I? I like. 
<laughs> you say it looks like something behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. There's shadows. I will. Maybe. I will. Uh, yeah, I'll pull apart the fucking curtain. I'll, I'll lift the curtain up. Okay. As you pull the curtain across, here we go. The uh, oh, no. the rod at the top of the room. Mm -hmm. Um, you look very very closely and if you put your hand up against it it almost seems like there's like some kind of force based magic that's separating a part of the room from you and what's on the other side uh you see a human girl she has red hair um in your discussions with the young lad gentry outside you may recall very briefly that he mentioned having a younger sister who has red hair <clears throat> So, because of the memory implanted in my head that I think Gentry is my kid, do I now think this is my kid as well that I've just forgotten about? No, you don't know who this is. Unless you unless you piece together that they're brother and sister. Look, I'm assuming we do because you your narration implies we do. Sure, I will assume then. I guess you can make the assumption oh. then that this is your daughter. So that's, oh, that's, that's a whole new mindfuck. Uh, you also see um, what looks to be two separate monsters. Um, for, for whatever reason, none of them are moving. They are just standing there. Um, it doesn't look like they're breathing. It doesn't look like they're sleeping. You know, they, they seem to be intact, almost as if they're in like a stasis. You also notice that as you pull across the curtain, that on the wall that part of the curtain was touching, there is a lever. And it is currently pulled upward. I back away and just kind of pull the curtain shut. Let's just we leave this alone for a little bit. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, do I see any like potential exit points to this room? Yep. So in this room, uh, aside from the disappearing portal from behind you, there uh -huh. is an exit um, okay. on the north side of the room. The bed is kind of in the center of the room. It's a big circular bed. Um, and that is the only exit. All right. Well, since that lot is um, not moving, not this bed. Should we maybe take a little moment to, you know, catch our breath? It's a weird bed. Before we decide what and the fuck smells. to do with. I mean, yeah, I mean. Uh... I think everywhere in here smells. Like, does, does anyone have some, like, vinegar or something? I mean, mm. I have a way maybe to make it a little bit more appealing. Can I use prestidigitation? Yeah. To clean them. Just sheets. slowly but surely just start slowly cleaning this bed. Or does it like fucking the stank stay? Mm -hmm. No 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 mad cleaning gets sure. this gone. You can clean the bed and the stink goes away. Fuck um, yeah. Done. I will just say rules. I will say It takes a while. As you start to cast this spell oh, on the no. bed. Uh you hear and again, as you're cleaning the bed, I'm going to reiterate, you also still see those small little chaotic ripple waves that are coming from the bed, underneath the bed. Oh, God, that was a fucking thing. <laughs> oh, um, oh, me too. Oh, you, you hear what sounds like very, very distant, like echoes of, uh, like, tormented souls. Oh. Uh, oh, I hate it. Some, some crying, some yelling in agony, like, some just, like, spewing garbage out of their mouth. Does you also... Or just me? <laughs> say that again? Is that, like, a thing that everyone hears? Just this is fucking... Uh, I'll say that disturbing the sheets yeah. through magic has caused everyone to s kind of hear that in the distance. Um, What's that? Keeping in mind that those sheets are also worth money. Well, then. Well, maybe we don't sleep on the bed. So it's like some I mean, screaming I mean, I... coming from the bed. I'm just giving a little elbow to Ferenc. Sounds just like you. And then giggle a little yes. bit and then. Uh... 
kind of see you are a clown and i walk to the bed and i try to take the covers off okay uh removing the sheets from the bed i dropped a dice you reveal the bed itself which has the imprint in its mattress of what looks to be a large spider Ugh. Uh, gross there is a unique mm. force field underneath the bed where you do see literally hundreds of tormented souls oh, that's disgusting. Asking, asking to be let out what do you do um guys <laughs> um huh? there's like souls here i guess you they're can hear them right in nature yeah they're wispy in nature um they have like a faint glow to them and what um, they're coming i kind of want to let them out but some it's... happen to have like a humanoid face for a moment and then it disappears you said there was like do a they look like the... oh sorry go on. Okay. No, do they look like the same as we saw in the um in the room where the guy was pulling the souls out, do they look yeah. the same? Oh, in the jars? Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, so that they are the same. Oh. Shit. What happened yep. again? If we let one out, did, did we leave one out? I, I don't, I don't think we did. We, did no, we tried. We wanted I don't to think we did. We fucked it up. We, yeah, we yeah, tried, yeah. and then he uh, he and we, he, we just walked away. Did you say it's like mm. a spider imprint in the bed? Yep. So I'm in the bed, you see what looks like the large imprint of something that slept there for a long time. I'm going to Im oh, I'm going to I'm look seeing... up and just Any like anyways? is looking for just anything. It's just, just like... darkness. You don't see anything. Are the I mean, souls spiders don't sleep in beds? Are the That's souls like problem. peeking out from under the bed, yeah. or are they like in the mattress? Like the mattress looks like it's like moving and like thing. Like I. I don't so understand the visual. Underneath, underneath the actual bed, okay. there's what looks to be like a little force field. Okay. So you Should might we... have to like move the bed if you want to get at that. Yeah, can yeah, I try and I'm just like sort of ask arms in... under and just like yeah, hold there's... flip it? Because oh, I'm I was... buff. I, 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 <laughs> wait a second before uh, we don't know. Um, nah, I'm not well, waiting. Then. I guess we're doing right. this and I'm helping okay. her. To... I take a step back. Let's yeah, I mean, it's, I'm just, I'm just like, let's say that Lamina and Fairy move the bed. The force field is still there on the ground. Nothing has happened. You just moved the bed. Damn it. Yo, we can put this bed somewhere else and just have a sleep. Oh, God, you sleep. This is a good and idea. maybe place this fucking blanket over this soul thingy, because that kind of creeps oh, me out. Uh, say we do want to free them. How would we even start, you know? The lever? Uh, anyone? Anyone? I feel like the lever is more to do with that other thing, you know, because we pulled the curtain away, saw this shit. Lever. I feel. I believe... It could be connected. Is that to say? Should be, you know, just a short little nap, and then just pull the lever and see what happens. You say short little nap. Do you want? Uh... Because because like listen. If she hits the fan, there's an exit right there. We can just fucking book it. That is true. Right. You guys, you guys can uh, sleep well. I do nothing to uh, sleep. I just need a moment to, you know, bandage up some wounds and shit. You know, I, uh, oh, I, I, more. I literally uh, cannot sleep. So, oh, do you, oh. Do you need you, you need guys... him to sing you a lullaby. Is that, does that help or? Oh no no, I just uh... I grab the liar. Bet your fucking sweet ass you can sleep. Bet your sweet bippy I did. Mm. I have no need. Because I can oh, just, oh, you know. You want to keep an eye out then? I was keeping out till all all the time you guys are wanting to rest up. I you want to you wanna do the full, like, big night? Or I can do well, like uh, at, least, at least a little, at least a little, like, like an hour. of. Because I can do break. an hour and then I'm good to go. Yeah. I mean, like. Is it to you guys? I can I can do that as well. I don't know mm -hmm. about the rest of you if you need a little bit more, but I can I can do just well, as well. Um, I'll be alright if we just have like a little like an hour of uh, downtime, you know. Is that what? Hey, I keep forgetting this. Spells <laughs> is long rest, right? Yeah, long rest. Correct. Yes. Depends yeah, on your I... class, though. Yeah, it's like yeah. Like sure. mm -hmm. So I will. I'll interject here. What are you doing? 
what's going on. What are we making the choice to do? Short or long, Short or long resting. That's yeah, I'm already sitting on the moved bed. We placed the bed somewhere else. Okay, I'm just pacing around the room. And yeah. I'm sitting on and no, I I'm I'm picking up the blanket and throwing that over the force fuel tormented soul <laughs> thingy. I just don't want to see that again. Okay. I'm not going to rest. I'm going to stay up because I don't trust this place and not that I don't like trust Watt to keep watch but just this place is all kinds of there, fucked up so I have extra name. support I'm gonna That's stay awake cool. and I while the, they're sleeping I want to go investigate the frozen I guess Yogurt appearance or body of the 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 kid that I think is mine for this moment so is the is it just their body unmoving it's not like turned to stone it's not like a statue it's just wait, wait, wait. like so are we long or short resting hold on hold on, hold on. are we so I think short. Short. Uh, figured it was a short. Short, short. short is enough. I, I have enough okay. left, so. So for those of you okay. taking a short rest, then you are resting at this time. I will do in my short rest. I will um, inspect the liar and attune to it. Nice. Okay. Do I have to attune to my sword, James? You do not have to attune to the sword. Nice. Um, I'm going to use uh, two hit dice to heal up as well. Uh, I will see how many hit dice. I'm gonna use one. I think I'm. I'm okay. not resting, so. So we will say for the purposes of those who short rest, um, you know, you get the benefits of a short rest. Zoran, you become attuned to the liar. Um, Lamina, mm -hmm. the bodies behind the force wall. Uh, don't look as though they're like st stone um again it, it kind of just looks like they're in stasis okay are they if i touch like put my hand like like this like back into the girl's like cheek is it cold is it normal you body temperature you are you are behind the wall of force that you can't get through oh but then we can't get to the lever that's there either the, the lever is on your side oh okay uh weird Okay. Um what else was in the room? Yeah. So there's teacup which someone took, liar, someone took sword, someone took the models of the town. Can I start moving around while they're resting? Like the the middle models of various cities and like moving pieces around to see if anything's maybe hiding. Not every single but like some of the bigger pieces, like maybe like churches or like town halls and just to lift them up, see if anything's maybe under there sure. inside them. So you spend um, a decent amount of time moving around the models, playing around with them. Um, can you roll me an investigation check? Natural one. Okay. <laughs> um, so, you know, you don't really recognize anything um, out of the ordinary. Nothing really catches your eye. Uh, can you roll me a perception check? Yep. Not much better. Uh, five. Um, as you play with the pieces of the town, let's say you pick up the a piece that looks like a chapel. You, know, you might hear the faint echoes of a priest giving a sermon, or maybe you yeah. pick up like you, maybe you pick up like the the piece that looks like a little playground. You hear some children running around laughing. As soon as that happens, I'm going to put them down and stop touching them, because that's creepy. Yeah, they said. They, I, I just was checking out the models, and that they, they, they make noise, but, like, in, wait! Actually, I guess it's different, yeah. It's like, they make noise, like, in your head, based on what they, it was, it was unsettling. I don't, there's enough unsettling happening. I don't need that. You're welcome to try, though, if you want. I will go... Does it look like it's like a model of the town? Like, if I look at it... So, I would, if you're going to try it, yeah, we need an investigation check. Investigation... Uh, 16. Upon further inspection of some of the models mm. that Lamina was playing with, 
you pick up on the fact that you recognize some of the buildings from Dewberry that are here. You see the drunken dummy, which was the bar that you all went to. I'll pick up the drunken dummy. I kind of like you, know, you hear the sounds of like um, some light chatter. You hear someone. You, you you hear the faint another round. And you hear the bartender saying, you know, five gold pieces, please," or you know this and that. And then the two of you who are focused on the town, so not those short rest things or I'm not you a team. Um, and yeah, we can go for a break in a sec. Uh, in the most faint way, you hear from the middle of the room where that force wall was, or not, not the force wall, but the one in the, in the, in the, the ground that's holding back all of those souls. Uh, you hear, yes, yes, help us, help us. And I'll say that's where we will go for our quick break. Okay. Ooh. Oh, shit, I'm bad. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> so we'll go for a quick break, stretch your legs, grab something to drink, and then we'll be back to continue to investigate the bedroom. I need to put on some sort of nice. breaky music. Excuse me. Make break music. Oh, break my heart. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Hold on. I would love to put on some sort of like creepy circus music, but I just don't want there to be like DMCA issues. So we'll stick with this. All right, I will deafen.
Okay, I think we're good to go. We're back. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so welcome back. Hello. Hopefully you got a drink. Hopefully you stretch your legs. Blah blah blah. We are back, and where we once left off, um, a few of the party members were taking a short rest, and Lamina and Watt. Uh, after Watt had successfully investigated one of the little carved towns, uh, started to hear um, sounds emanating from the force field on the ground, saying, please, please, help us, please. No, I don't know if this is connected, but I think these pieces might hold the souls that are trapped. He says that, I just take one and smash it on the ground and see if anything happens. That is not what I meant. Uh... <laughs> nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nah, Wait, you're worried for nothing. Smash? Does the thing... I meant more like they can be used in some way, probably some sort of uh, ritual rather than uh, literally, more like uh, figuratively. Uh, we'll, we'll say that because they were carvings of wood, it breaks mm. apart. Oh, that's just wonderful news. What was it? What did you break, Laura? What did what, what, what one did you pick up? What building? Who did you kill? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just a you, random you, the one. Two, the two of you still just continue to hear, like, we're right here. Please help us. Can I? Now. <laughs> just bored his whole ball of calm emotions on top of all of it. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is going to be some weird territory we're, get, we're going into now, boys. Do these count as a creature? Because <laughs> I eldritch blazed. No. <laughs> uh, no, they do not. Cool. Never mind then. Uh, uh, let's say Lamina and Watt. Um, never mind. Oops. Okay. <laughs> never mind. Uh, continue, I would continue just... to do as you wish. I would kind of just be waiting for... You'd think they'd be a little people. more helpful. Tell us to help them. Tell us how. To be fair, they probably do not know much. I don't think they, they are trapped. Uh, just through, like, passively looking around the room, okay. you look as though, like, some of them are trying to, like, from the, the underside of this, like, force field. Yeah. They're trying to, like, hit it. Uh -huh. Like they're bound, like they don't have hands, but they're like bouncing yeah. their bodies off of it, like they want it. I think we uh, can we lift this thing? Is I that mean, do we wait for everyone here to be rested up? And then I think we if we start doing plans, uh, wait till we at our yeah maximum efficiency. Efficiency. Oh, you Germans. <laughs> okay. So, I mean... <laughs> Lamina and Watt, unless there's nothing else that you two want to do, no. you sit around Nine. and you, you wait for the the hour to pass. Five of you, some of you rested, some of you not. Presumably you communicate what happened at the table. Mm -hmm. and the sounds you I heard. would have taken a long rest, but I literally, my, me, not a short rest even, but literally me short resting is just walking around because okay. I don't need to sleep or anything. I just exist and I can do it. So it's not doing anything too major. That's my sleep ever. Well, what I miss, I, uh, you know, my, I needed to look at the inside of my eyelids for an hour or so there. What happened? Um, that table of figurines seems to, at least from my understanding, I picked up the one that had the tavern in it. After uh -huh. living there here, I picked up, and I could hear the inside of the tavern. Like it was uh, a memory of the tavern. And then I heard the uh, the souls pleading for us to help. You reckon those souls belong to the people taken from these towns? I'm assuming, since we recognize that to be uh, Dewberry, you reckon the other towns that we see here were visited by the circus before? And I all these souls in that thing that was under the bed belong? In those cities, maybe? Towns, villages? I would think so. Presumably. Maybe. Do we try to release the souls? I do not know what that would do, though. I think. I mean, how would we even do that? So, I mean, can we, can we smash the force field? I mean, does it like... On the force field, but does it look like it can just be moved? Does it look, is it like a wall? Like a it's wall like attached. It, it, it looks like it goes floor, 
circular force field floor. Like it looks like it's embedded in the floor. Hmm. I'll try to like see if I can like shift it anyway. I'll try to, like, um, you you can't shift it. You can stand on it. Like you can touch it. It doesn't bounce you off. Right. Hmm. Okay, I'm I'm going to suggest something. Do it. Do we want these souls out of that shit hole they're in? I think we probably do. Have yeah, yeah isn't that like why we're here getting, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, because my follow up was going to be I'm going to take my sword and just jab it into the floor. That sounds like happens. an excellent idea. I will look at that from afar over there. <laughs> yep, I'm going to. Just take your distance, hug the walls or whatever. Actually, maybe not, because. I will I stand. Know, maybe we'll it didn't grab you or something. I don't know. Uh... The yeah, we sure we can't lift this. It's in the floor. You can't, you can't lift mm. the whole floor. So poke a little out of the floor, I guess. As mm. everybody uh, has taken their distance, assuming, assuming they all did. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, grab sure. my newly acquired short sword oh, and break it. Watch him break it. Um, that but... would be hilarious. <laughs> And I'm gonna just jam it into the force field and see what ha see what happens. Fuck it. You roll an attack for me. Of course, small Uh That would be I nine plus eight. Oh, plus eight. So nine level seventeen to hit. And you roll some damage. Oh Um. Weapons. This. Plus this. And is that plus five, 11 points of damage. That includes one point of thunder damage. Okay, so you whip out that, um, that singing sword. And mm -hmm. that, so <laughs> that soothing, uh, soothing hum that you hear turns into a full on Rave. Like, chorus of people singing. And you know, the people in the room are like, what is that noise? As you jam that sword through that force field, shattering it to pieces. The force field or the sword? The force oh. field. Oh, okay. Oh, oh thank God you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at the same um, time. <laughs> as you shatter the force field, uh, the souls kind of fly about the room and they slowly dissipate into the far reaches of the blackness around you. Some pass by your ears whispering thank you. Um, some fly by and say like, oh, nice shirt. Oh, oh, like nice weapon. Oh, like, you know, thanks a lot. And um, Roderick, one appears mm -hmm. before you and says, you heard us. We've been trapped here. For we don't know how long. She takes us. She bakes us. And then we turn into this. Ew. Thank you. Wait, she takes and bakes. Who's, who's she? Who got baked? You know. <laughs> her. That's why you're all here, right? To see her. Asha? And then in that moment, the wisp surrounds you. You permanently gain a plus one to your AC and all your saving throws. Who does? Roderick. Oh, he's, he's the one that freed the sword. Damn it! <laughs> I mean, damn it. It's a team game. As team that game. true, <laughs> as that soul goes to disappear, it stops for a second and it looks back and it says, "Oh, wait a moment." It flies down in front of Fairy, and it hovers around your pockets as then it says. I think you've got something in here that might be useful. She also makes this too. And. Oh, the calm emotions. Out of your pocket mm. hovers this little vial that says calm emotions. And the, the wisp soul says, just like how she takes us and bakes us. Yeah, that sounds terrible. She also makes this to help you and your madness. And then, oh, dude, that oh, sounds with, great. With that, that soul takes the appearance of what looks to be um, a woman, stout woman, amber hair, wearing an apron, 
Um, she looks like a, a chef or like a baker. Mm -hmm. um, and on the lapel of the apron, you see the last name Hull. And you quickly come to the conclusion that this is likely Gentry's mother. Um, Lamina, I would like you to make a perception check. Uh, eight. Okay. And with that, taps Fairy on the head and disappears, saying thank you once more. You're welcome. Did the th do the, is there any difference on the three figures that were behind the curtain? Nothing has changed. So presumably um, their I'm... souls weren't in there. And unfortunately, Lamina, you did not see the yeah, name yeah. on the apron. Yeah, yeah. Keeping in mind that the things behind that other force field are a little girl and what look to be two monsters. Mm hmm I don't know if uh, is it was pulling the lever. I don't know if that will oh. um, release the monsters onto the girl or if that will no, because uh, really... because I saw oh. Roderick shatter that force field, and now because there's there's another force field them even though the monsters are a risk. But I think the child there is my child. And what you do, I want to go take my long sword with two hands, try and see if I can do the same to Your the force job? field. No, the force field that's keeping us from them. Break it. Um, James, did you say a plus one to all my saving throws? Yep, and your AC. I need to see. Fuck it. Um, I would like you to roll an attack. Wait a minute. Uh, 16. Can you roll damage for me? Yeah. Uh, just the one. Like when I take the attack action, I make two attacks. But is this mm -hmm. is that the same here, or is it just one do, attack? Do as much damage as you can. But then I should have to roll a second attack as well. Or less. attack it as if you were trying to like again. If you're just trying to swing once, okay. If you want to so swing twice, then swing twice. Okay, so that is. 11 points of slashing damage. Okay. You shatter the barrier. Um, nothing changes, though. It looks like those two monsters and that little girl are still in stasis. Okay, well, now I want to go and put the hand on the girl's cheek and see if she feels cold to the touch or if she feels normal body temperature. Uh, normal body temperature, but not moving. Okay. Not breathing. don't understand oh, why it didn't work. She smashed the force field. Mm -hmm. She went in, but everything is still frozen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and Wait, you... Um, you reckon in order for them to unfreeze, maybe we have, we have to flip the switch? Just, a, I just mean, you know, maybe. some food for thought. Yeah, maybe. You want me to? Yeah. Just be warned, battle. we might have to fight whatever these are. Point to the two creatures. That's fine. Um, oh, in that case, before I... Do you want to take positions? Yeah, so I just have the sword ready, and oh, I'm standing just you know. next to the girl. How about you, Rob? Oh, like, like, get in there and take a position. Wait, 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 wait. Can I pick her position. up? And does anything happen if I pick up? I know she won't move, she's like frozen, but can I pick up the girl and move her somewhere else in the room? Yep, you can move her. Okay, I want to pick her up Ooh. and move her to the as far away as I can get. I know there's no walls, and like just far away from the two monsters before the lever gets pulled, and then sort okay. out. As you pass through where the barrier once was, with the little oh, girl, hey, she <laughs> never mind. <laughs> she just sees a half orc, a very kind of. A very mask, a very muscly half orc lady what, holding what, on. What, what, what are you? What are you? Ah, Drop her. <laughs> oh my god. She, she flails. I like, I like, let go, put her down. I don't want her to hurt herself. And she, I just go. She hits the ground. She smashes into the ground. And I, oh. 
I, I just look, I kind of, I'm just dazed for a second. I'm like, oh, I wasn't prepared for this. I'm your mama cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Well, apparently... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! And she... Oh, and she's related to that other bloke? She well, there's two of those, but... Try, tries her best to go into, like, the corner of the room, like, terrified of all of you. I will cast friends on her. <laughs> okay. Which does? I mean, it just gives me advantage on charisma checks. I was <laughs> her, yeah. That one. Um... I just, but I mean, you're a lion. Was, you're a big lion. <laughs> yes, but I'm not. And I'm a witch. And that's a wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to. We are here to save you. A lucky, a lucky day for you, huh? So, do not worry. We are here to to look after you. Roll her persuasion check with advantage Dude. because yeah, we'll, just, we'll, do, we'll do we'll do with advantage because of friends. Oh, I get it because my spell. She's a child, and she believes eighteen. Okay, you I have candy in my van. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Nope, I'm out. <laughs> she goes. I actually love lions. I I've heard about them before, but never seen them. Can you buy them? It's like a full lion, like a million, and it's uh, slightly different. But we won't get into that. This is you're a lion, can't you? <laughs> And she goes, uh, my name's Tabitha, Tabitha Hall. My brother, Gentry, I think he's, I don't know where he is right now. He's, he's, he's outside. outside. Also, and she, as, you're try, as you're trying to talk, she just continues to talk through you. Yeah. Also, I have, I have a dad. His name's Miguel Hall. I don't know where he is either. Also, I don't know where my mom is. Her name's uh, Sandy. She, she's the baker, but I don't know where she is either. Does that I don't know where anybody is? Does that you shake me out of it? Like hearing that? Do I take away? To, wait, what? <laughs> but, <laughs> let's let's roll. Uh, Laura, roll me an intelligence check with your modifier. You mean my modifier of zero? <laughs> Natural one. Uh, no, <laughs> you don't piece that together. Uh, when she says I just go, excuse me, and look at her and do the mom pose, like hands on hips, and just like, and looking at her like, you're gonna, you have some explaining who's, to do, who's, miss. Who's this weird lady with the giant sword? Why I'm, is she looking like, like this at me? Why are you so offended, Lamino? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you'd be offended when your own daughter talks back to you. That's daughter, kind of rude. Her dad's not I'm, your first I'm That's a, not. I'm That's a human not. being. You're like some weird orc lady. I'm half human. You just got the human side, Missy. I don't. I, I, that's not who your are you? That's not. Who else do you think is your child? Ch just her? Uh, no, she has a brother. Obviously, she just told you. Yeah, yeah that, we. That's uh, uh, all right. I am you're almost my, certain that you did mom, not remember. <laughs> I am we, almost certain you do not remember when we talked to uh, the we met before. this dude and we met the brother and, and you very much had this taste and did not know and did not know who he was. You did not know anything about him. I just walk over to Watt and whisper, "Yeah, I, I, I know. I in my weak moments, I don't. It makes me a terrible parent. I'm aware. I, but come on, you don't love your kids all the time. There's come on." It does not. Do not oh, have oh, any. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. But wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember that? Oh, you know, I forgot everything. Flo wait, she thinks right? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, she shook. She shook the kid. memory man's hand. I think that is quite a possibility. And if so, that is his. Yeah, I gave. I gave him a memory. He yeah. he takes memories away. He took your memory. He took one of mine. Is, Who knows no, what it is, is but. Then. Well, this is. Well, yeah, he took them me. temporarily. Can, can one of you choose persuasion and roll with advantage? Uh, Hell yeah, I'll do it. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave that up to my friend here. Oh! 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 <laughs> Don't tell me. It's not one, that 20, baby. It's two! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> 26! <laughs> So, ah! Lamina, Lamina, uh, whatever is about to come out of Watt's mouth, you will instantly believe everything. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of power you've just handed to Quibb. <laughs> uh, 
So. With all due respect. Okay, with, with, with specific reference. To this okay. Movie. You were now in love with me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you are going to give me all your, your money and your property. <laughs> <laughs> it's your power. Um, <laughs> so, you shook a memory guy. I can't do the accent now. It's going a bit. Uh, it's going, <laughs> you shook the memory guy's hand. <laughs> memory guy. And then, uh, and then you forgot something, and he's replaced it with this new memory of someone else. So you think you're the mother to these children, which is, to be fair, quite funny. Yeah, <laughs> and, then, and then I just take a minute. How hard, is it, how hard is it to remember something? I remember all my ABCs. C, A, B, C, D, E, F, E, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, 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 T U V. Do you get it, lady? It's really easy to remember. That's why. Really that's why I, I just I look at Watt and just go. Thank God. Imagine if I felt the need to deal with that for God knows how long. Oh, thank you. And I just look at the game. You shut up. Hey, you're not my mom. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna do what you say. I no, but I'm not your mom. It means I, I can fucking unhinge my jaw and feel my yeah. wide fucking yeah. vampire grin. Yeah. Yes, you fucking are. Oh jeez. Oh, what better. big teeth you have! <laughs> oh my god. It's at oh, this bullshit. moment that the spell friends ends, and they realize that they had to spell cast them. <laughs> they realize that I've cast a spell. Hey, fucking. Oh wait, wait hey. a second. You just cast magic on me, right? How do I know you're all telling the truth? What if I am that orc lady's mom or daughter? I'm just gonna be like, what listen, kid, kid, if Wait. you don't shut up, I'm gonna go take one of those and point to the two monsters and wake it up the same way I woke you up. Hey, I'll do it right now. I'll do it. Oh god, she's like one of your husbands. I, I will, dude. If she runs in there, I'm fucking grabbing the cunt. Do it. Do it. Over. Start over. I'll, I'm grabbing her. I'm fucking okay. tackling her. Hey, let go of me, you weird teeth man. Y'all don't got any know rope? How to... Anyone got any rope? Yes, yeah, I will tie. No. I will help you tie Hang up this on. child. It's a kid. It's a child. It's a little well, girl. Give her to me, and I'll hold her. Excuse me. Don't have a cart on back. I can't you anymore. Fucking <laughs> just hey, what would you say your name was again? Ah, uh, my name's Tabitha. Hey, Tabitha. Um. We don't know you that hey, well, hey, and dude, we're trying to. Hey, dude, you're actually really hot. Want to go on a date? No, you're way too young, and I'm super old. And um, we we are kind of in the middle of a thing, and you should not be here. What's happening? And um, maybe if you chill down, then uh, we'll get you out of here instead of with these weird folks, and you get to see your brother again. How'd that sound? Sounds great. I love Gentry. He li he listens to oh, me all the, the only time. Fucking one. I bet. I, I bet. I think one. he's the only one. Yeah, but that's <laughs> that's okay. So if you listen to us for a little bit now, then we'll love you too, and then that's all right. And then what are we doing? Are you shut your all big right. teeth. All right. You don't don't know how to handle kids. It's no well, tells me. Cool. <laughs> oh, oh, he's a clown, by the way. Do you, do you like clowns? Clowns. That's why I came in here. Because there was a carnival. Okay, he's a clown sometimes. But only if you ask him nicely. And real nicely. Can you do that for me? Hey, mister. Uh, I mean... Can you be a clown? Come on. You know, I'm just annoyed by this kid. Same. Um... So, fuck it. I will use... Hell, <laughs> should be set her on fire. <laughs> Formaturgy <laughs> to make my eyes flicker, like they're like on fire. I just get on my knees, face to face with this stupid ass kid. Oh no. And I just say, lower my voice a little bit. Did you call me a clown? Ooh. Can you roll an Yo, intimidation mother. check for me? Jesus sure. Christ, these goofers. Intimidation, you said, right? Yes. I, I plus nine. I win these. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh oh. 28. Hell yeah. Okay, she. She's like, oh boy, mister, you're really scary. You're one of those scary clowns. 
Okay, I'll shut up. Thank God. Right. So what was the way oh, out of this room again? Um, right there, and I'll point at the exit. Do we just leave her here? Do we bring her with us? What's the plan here, Mr. Kid Whisperer? And I'll look at uh, Ferry. Um, I don't know, dude. Like, we can't leave her here, and we can't really take her with us. So, um, can you? Can I, can I just? I, if I'm still back, I'd say, I don't have a bet until we are back. And then that's that problem solved, and we can just go. But Sounds we're not coming back here, dude. Like, who yeah, knows? We should, yeah. get, who we knows? Take the kids with us, sir. Just in case. Yeah, um, I I'm... really don't like that idea at all. Well, Same. Assume the child to be dead. That's up to you. Your blood is on her. Well, your, honestly, her she's. Sure. <clears throat> I, I I will take the blood. Oop, let go. Excuse because me. If if you're taking her with us. I mean, either way, it's going to be my veto on that is... <laughs> Well. Uh, is she I'm like Roger's wolf or something? I mean, sure, but if you get into battle, she's. She just sits um, one yeah. out, you know, just sit on the sidelines and wolf does and jump on people. That's what he does. And the wolf goes and with, she with, just... with, with her. Maybe, her maybe she can annoy him to death. Hey, oh my how's God. that sound? We palm her off to someone else that we he see. He just tells everyone their ABCs, and in the thing. meantime, we just shoot them in the heads. That's what we do. That's not best shot, actually. Solid oh. distraction. Right? Tabitha, <sighs> or whatever thing. the frick your name was, you're coming with us. Uh, if you want to hold my hand, that's all right. If you don't want to, that's better. <laughs> um, and you can sometimes sit on this little wolf dude he bites. So don't pull his hairs or ears or tail. Abathon will nice. jump up on the wolf. But I will just look at him. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm All right, horsey, sorry. let's go. And she kicks it. She kicks the side of the wolf. Oh hey, God. softly now. And she's like, hurry up, losers. And she runs through the portal. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. We got a new leader now. She's four years old and she probably shits her bed. Let's go. <laughs> I don't he want to die. I think we made. I think you... I may have made a small mistake. We should have left her here. <laughs> I think you've yeah, already had good. your chance at dying, and you got yeah, something walk. weird with teeth. I don't know what that was about. I'm out of here. Yeah, I walk through yeah. the portal. Walk through yep. the portal. Same. Okay, so all of you are walking through the portal. Mm. Get the fuck out. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you walk through, the not portal, happy. When you come out on the other side, uh, you are on what looks to be, um, if you've ever been in an airport, like a horizontal escalator, like a conveyor belt. Yeah. You immediately come out from the portal onto a conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. And in the distance, okay, again, keeping in mind that there's many, bl there's a lot of blackness around you, but almost in the distance, you can make out like little pocket areas where there's light shining on specific instances of what look to be like other rooms um as you continue forward <laughs> on the conveyor belt there's no immediate danger in front of you on these on this belt uh in, in the far corner of your eye you see what looks to be like a banquet hall kind of stretching mm -hmm. out in that one room um you know there's a table that has platters of cakes and pies and fruits and lots of smoked meats a big charcuterie board for everyone to eat and there's eight people sat at that table all dressed in very very fine aristocratic attire sitting with their plates full um in the middle of saying grace as they're about to to begin eating and in another pocket that you see it looks to be the exact same setup, except it looks like those eight people are in the middle of eating. Mm -hmm. And a as these people uh, take bites of their food, you see their eyes widen, and they continue to eat faster and faster and oh, faster. Gross. And very, very slowly, you see that these people start to grow. Ew. Like, bigger. Like, they're bloating. Um, in another one of these little pocket areas uh you see what looks to be like this huge contraption and at the top of the contraption there is um like a wire that connects 
from each mm -hmm. of the rooms and on the wire there is like a claw um you see across this wire very very large obese people being funneled oh. from room to room jesus um hoisted into a chute atop that contraption this is fucked up and dropped into that contraption and in that other little pocket room you see what look to be things like humanoid pigs and goats and cows and chickens preparing sweets and w on one end of the contraption there are pies coming in so on one end people are being dropped oh, into fucked. it and then on one end there's pies coming in and you see a bunch of like chefs that are all like humanoid animals um i would oh, like oh, oh. I would like you all to make a wisdom saving throw as you see these things happening on the conveyor belt that seems to be much, much higher than all these other places. So all of you are making a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's decent. Well. Uh, uh dirty 20. 11. Yeah. Okay, Zoran, you're going to fail. 15. 12. Is anybody... 16. Okay, so everybody passes but Zoran. Zoran. God. Is that me? I found some real creepy music to put in the background. You are instantly incapacitated. Oh, God. And you, be <clears throat> you begin weeping for the next ten minutes. So the sights of no. everything that you're seeing is maybe a little bit too much for you to handle. Oh my Dude, god. There's a child here. Um, <laughs> this makes me cry. <laughs> In that moment, when Zoran lets out his first large weep, oh, no. it looks like there's one animal that is in that contraption room. Give me one moment, sorry. And we're still moving on this conveyor belt thing the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like with my, put, you know, pat, like very awkward, really like pat Zoran's back. Like, it'll be a lot, but it's, um, you know. <laughs> we'll be okay. We're going to be okay. Uh, uh, there, there is a, a bull like humanoid animal with a big Minotaur. hat on. Like, the, the biggest hat of all. And he looks up right in your general direction. And he lets out a, a large, like... And <laughs> there are three other humanoid animals that also immediately look in your direction. As you are scaling across this conveyor belt, it looks like the conveyor belt is about to drop. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Are oh. We next? <laughs> oh no, where are we going? It, it, it looks as though the conveyor belt is about to drop you into the room where that contraption is, but not into the actual device. Oh, thank God. It, al oh. it almost looks like at the bottom of your little fall, there's a little trampoline that you can bounce off of. Nice. But Fuck yeah. you see that there are four humanoid animals looking right at you. Uh, Zoran is currently really incapacitating, it, right? weeping his, his eyes out. What would you like to do? Is there any way I... off this belt? Yeah. Um, another way? Jump into blackness? Down? You could How? if you wanted. Some chocolate blood on you. How far away is the contraption room from where we are? Uh, it looks like it's maybe about 40 feet left on the conveyor belt before your drop. So you guys have like a good 7 to 8 seconds of decision making time. I... Not, in real ti not in real time, but like yeah. in, in game time of like what you want to do. I kind of want to get off is right. I got nothing, dude. 
I don't think there's anything. Um, is it Mister? Mm. I I don't think there's anything I can see myself doing besides just fucking falling, dude, and see what happens. <laughs> uh, so did you? So what else can we? What can we see from? Like the conveyor belt. So we will a few we'll of drop... those different rooms where all of those people are getting fattened up. You can right. see hooks grabbing people and yep. bringing them across wires, dropping them into that contraption. It looks as though in that room there are animals like uh, preparing food and or taking like those pies that have been Crazy. made into an mm -hmm. into a different room. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a room that has like controls in it or something like that. It's like it's not nope. like a... I hate it. Looks it. Like, it looks like any kind of controlling would probably be operated at the contraption itself. Contraption itself. I guess we just accept our fate, yeah. Can I, like, how fast is the conveyor belt going? Like, can we, like, run against it? Is it, like... But back to where? Uh, like, to where could, we came from? There, there's, there's no portal behind you. No, there's no portal behind us, okay. Also, just... Tabitha is in front of you, on the wolf. Uh, I'm a... I'll, she has, I'll like, a second or two up. head start. I'll walk to, to her and pick her up and hold her to me and... I'd... Okay. I still look around me like, is there any way other off that might make some sense? Is there before any way out to, like, of here? The drop on trying to uh, control the boat. Like, form a perception check for me. Mm -hmm. Eleven. If anyone would else also like to try, because sure. I assume most of you are looking around. Eighteen. Um. Let's have a look, see. Uh, 10. What I will say that at the end of the conveyor belt, you can see glimpses of one of those wires where the hooks kind of travel along that you could likely grab onto. Um, doing a quick scan, it looks as though that wire leads into one of the rooms with all of those people, like, becoming fattened up. Do you guys want to do something stupid? Yeah. I mean, fuck it. When in when in Rome, we just need to jump. Jump. Fight, get, get to the end to of this place. Get ready to jump and grab, and I will like point up to where the wire is. Okay, I uh, I would I would say it's low enough that you don't really have to make like a like an athletics or a dex or, a, or an acrobatics check. It's okay. just kind of like a quick little hop and you grab. Yeah, and I I will, I will at least grab one then. Okay. I'll do okay. the same thing, I guess. So is... I'll, I'll, I'll hold the acrobatic. child. I'm with the one hand. I'm going to hold myself up, and with one hand, kid. Okay. I'm assuming everyone is doing the same, or and can yeah. I, or am I too busy crying? Oh, shoot! Oh, true fucking oh, shit, fuck. dicks. Uh, well. Watt, Lamina, and Fairy have all jumped up, and they oh are now God. headed down that that wire. Uh oh. I will try to grab with the crying bard. Slap him okay. and you slap him real hard. <laughs> you roll me an athletics check. Uh, I can certainly fucking try. No, okay, hold on. My fucking dice roller is being fine. At the athletics. Plus three, dude, 19. Nice. Okay. Um, you successfully grab Zoran, and you grab onto the wire, and you also swing down. At that moment, I start crying even harder, seeing my wolf. <laughs> don't, don't, don't go away from me. <laughs> Unfortunately, the dire wolf uh, falls. Bye. It hits the trampoline, and as you swing down, you can see it happening. Uh, those humanoid animals engage in some of the most, uh, oh, no. I, I would say, like effective oh, no. pack tactics. That oh you've ever seen. no! And oh, no. it's fitting because it's a wolf, and they're all mostly farm animals. They pull that wolf limb from limb. Oh no! On 
body parts into the machine for it to be. Dude, that that was almost <laughs> us. I mean, we could have fought them, maybe. But... Oh fuck! You you all land um, in the kind of southern end of one of those rooms where all of those large people are eating. There is a door to your immediate east that looks like it connects to that room with the contraption. It's a small hallway. Okay, if you look very carefully, um, you can see like the animals, humanoid animals moving back and forth in that room from where you're standing. Uh, what do you do? Right. <laughs> and... Keeping in mind that Zoran is still like crying his guts. Out. Can yeah. I see oh, I one of the ones that like the main four that we saw? Yep, they're there. They How are not looking at you anymore. Far away um, are they roughly? Uh, I'd say fifty or sixty feet from you. Uh, I wanna. Oh, I wanna do something so bad, but really gonna fuck up that I'm not gonna. Wait, what's, what's the lay of the land right now? So you've landed in a room at the southern mm -hmm. end of it. It's about it's it's like a circle, like most of the other rooms you've been in. There's a big table with a bunch of really really large people stuffing their faces. Occasionally, a conveyor belt or a, a wire with a hook grabs one and pulls them on. And to be are they eating, eating pies? They're eating just food. Like, okay, so it's not like pie. the weird I, like I, I, meat pies that are being made are no, being shit to they, them. They're like they are eating like fucking... charcuterie boards, meats, fruits, vegetables, okay. like fat, fatty foods, but there are no pies. And to the east, there is a small hallway where if you look through the hallway, you can see all of those humanoid animals I like moving like... around and preparing food for all of these people. I would like to see Fuck, dude. up to be within 30 feet of like one of those four that we could see previously okay let's say that you are like up against the wall looking through the yeah. door yeah okay and then i will use my awakened mind feature to speak into its brain that's cool which one uh the fucking the i guess like the, the main one that first saw us Okay, like the the cowish one, the cattle. Yeah, the cow. The bull. Yeah, yeah, the bull. Okay, sure. No, if he understands the language, this will work. If he speaks like a language of any kind, and it's like, what is it that you want with us, sir? Um, they speak common, so common. Got He uh. He goes, oh God, in his mind. Who's talking to me? Don't have to worry about that one, my friend. Just uh, let us know what you're doing and how to get out. And we Is can this move God? On. <laughs> it might well be. It might be your destroyer, one of the two. Oh, what pain. What do you need from me? I need you to... Get a way out. Stop what is happening here, huh? This needs to stop. I mean, like, I guess I could do that. It's just like, I'm, I'm kind of trapped here. Like, I don't really want to do this, but they put me in charge. Like, this is my shift. I'm the manager. I don't really get paid the much. Manager. Well then. But like, if I disobey, I'm gonna get killed. We, if not, we could help you with that a little bit. Yeah, you help us. We, we try and protect you. We are, we're not here to harm you, it's just like, you don't want to do this, we don't want to do this either, huh? So just, uh... Can you roll me a persuasion check? Oh yeah, of course I can. You got this. Uh, 22. It's like, man, I never really felt that I've ever talked to God before, jeez. <laughs> uh, and I say, you have been a wonderful disciple. He goes, what, what about all my shift workers? Like, I'm their leader. Like, I don't want What's them to die either. What they want, if you are helpful to us, I will spare them as well. You know, you need to be helpful. 
And you want me to just... smite them right? Like I'll start. I'll start taking. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus. Well, like, no, 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 no. <clears throat> well, you have gone from zero to hundred very, very quickly here. I think you are misunderstanding what I'm trying to say. I do not want you to uh, to do that. I just need you to find an escape. Stop what is happening here. So you know, just if you can turn it off, or you can just like stop it. You know. Well, I, so... I mean, I can I can turn it off, but it'll cause complete chaos, and she'll know. She'll know right away because that conveyor belt will stop, and no more pies will come out. Well, isn't that? Just... Will she come over? I mean, uh, she's got a lot of legs. I don't know if she probably could. Oh, like, it's a spider lady. Oh, it's a spider lady. Well then, well then, you come into the main room. Uh, With all those the spider fat infants. people. Uh, and then maybe you could create like a little, uh, uh, you know, uh, distraction. So maybe she can maybe become one of these pies as well. He, he, stops, a spider, he, dude? Stops, Wait. he stops. He stops for a moment. Uh oh. He drops. He drops his little cleaver. And in in the the far reaches of like the the darkness. You hear a and the fuck is that? This paddle humanoid drops to his feet and dies. Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Fucking killed him! What you do? Oh no! Oh no! 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 What you do to him? I didn't do anything. This is, I think, oh, no, 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 no. You then uh, see... Well, you guys didn't know what I've been talking, just see that I... No, uh, you, yeah. that's I why... No, we just see, we just, we, we followed, we followed you, you dropped your knees and stopped all of a sudden, we're just all like, what the fuck is he doing? I was, you, I was just you, one you of those cows see, dying. Okay, this is time sensitive, so... You yeah. then see the three humanoid-like animals. There's um, a goat, a pig, and a chicken, who were standing near him, kind of wondering why he was... Just talking out loud. <laughs> talking out loud. Um, oh shit! He was saying all that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They they peer, they peer into the the hallway and they don't see you because you're stealth. But they start walking towards the room. Which one's at the front? Uh, I'll say it's the chicken. The chicken. I'm speaking to its brain. <laughs> this is God talking to you, eh? <laughs> you, this. you see what happened to your cow friend? Do not walk any further. <laughs> you saw God. Holy shit! Who cares about God? I now that now that he's gone, I'm the leader here. Well then, start the revolution. So you really are French, aren't you? <laughs> Viva la revolution! Oh, I hope you know what? Because then it's not actually one. a bad idea. And he he stops the other two from behind him, and he turns <laughs> to them, and all you hear is like. But for you know, for your understanding as players' sake, yeah. he goes, "I'm the shift manager now, and I want all of you to keep working, regardless of what happens. We're not dying on mm -hmm. today's shift. Too many died yesterday, and they immediately go back to work. And he Too stands at the door. He yesterday. he stands at the doorway with his back faced towards you." But the machine is still going. It sounds like you've convinced oh, him that he's now the shift manager. Oh, From what no. we see, it's the only way forward is to go into that room. Yeah, because the room that you're in is just a circle, circular place that has the I connection. Will, I will turn back to them and go, Okay, so you know that thing I can do when I can talk into your brain? I've been doing sure. that to them. Uh-huh. That one, the cow was a fucking idiot, apparently. So I was God and said it all out loud. And then he died. It wasn't my fault, he just died. He heard that there was something and he died. Then the okay. chicken, I talked it to its brain and said it should. Said I was God. It said, fuck God, I'm your shift manager. And I was like, well, start the revolution then. And then he was like, okay. And then <laughs> he's now not doing that. And he sends him away, but the machine's still on. So I'm going to talk into his brain again and make him like stop the shit and maybe go away. But uh, anything you want me to say? Sure. How the fuck do we get out? Where's the exit? Yes, we need to move forward. Okay. I was talking to the chicken's brain. Give me one second. To speak to the manager. <laughs> Hello. 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 He, he goes, 
<laughs> I always thought that God was a woman. I hate men. Well, maybe I am a very manly woman. You don't know. Maybe I'm. Uh, if if I change. You mean genders? Yeah, <laughs> I can change it to fin. Roll me a persuasion check. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> no, 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 you no, 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 no. You're persuading a chicken about the gender of a deity. Can we just take a minute? <laughs> 19. <laughs> oh. I plus 6 to persuasion. It's like my thing I'm good at. Yeah, well, you sound, you sound like a, a very rough and tough woman, so I appreciate that. Hey, do you, do you like the smell of cheese? Because I smell like that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this chicken? Uh, what type of cheese, huh? You know that kind of cheese that forms at the bottom of garbage when it rots too long? The one that, like, maggots come from? That kind of cheese. That's why I'm the shift manager. They don't like the way that I smell, so they do the work to get away from me. I see. Oh well, could you... The exit to why? the next room that you're in... Could you find it? Go to it's it? He, he just it. says, it's on the other side. There's no, there's no, there's no key. There's no lock. It's an open door. The conveyor belt goes lock. right through and that's where the pies go. Where do the pies go? Into the other room. What's in the other room? Her. Just her. I see. Right. Could you stop the production here? Drop no. her out. Why not? Listen, God, just because you're a woman doesn't mean I can't stop feeding her. Well, you if can, I stop, because if I I'm stop feeding... He, he sits there and he thinks for a second. <laughs> and he says, How do I know I can trust you? Because I know which was deepest, darkest secrets, everything about you. <laughs> I know what you did all those years ago. Oh, he's gonna fuck it up, he's gonna fuck it up, he's gonna fuck it up, he's gonna fuck it up. Yeah, it's me, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, you... You know, you know what I did to Hemeria the hen, huh? Well, uh... Hmm. Hmm. And he stops for a second and he, he clucks really loud. Boys, shut it down. Shut it down. There's no fucking shot that he pulls, works. He pulls a Gordon Ramsay. Shut and it he... down. Fucking <laughs> the, you see You see that the hooks on the wires stop moving. Um, I as you look up, you see a dangling man who's just like, ooh, ooh. It's like Wally. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Uh, pies are no longer being sent across the conveyor belt. Okay. And he he tells the other humanoid animals, we're taking a break. So then I, they, they they wander off into the next room. I, like, turn to them. Go. I turn to Run. Them. Uh, go. So it seems... So we need to go, but going into the next room, it goes into the room where that has a big spider in it, or it, it has her Fuck in it. it. They keep it Fuck it. Fuck it. Fine. Just go. Just go. Going to, just go. Going to try and draw her in, but okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm just fucking. I'm uh, running. still crying. Uh, I think it's been enough time now. Where the crying has stopped. Yeah, yeah I'm, trying, I'm trying to as, like delay ten minutes. As you, Fuck. as you begin to move through the short corridor, you hear a big grunt from one of the men at the table. And he goes, hold up for a second there. You guys know my boy? I swear to God. Oh, fucking hell. I swear to God. No. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. Flip. I'm just like, nope, we don't know anyone. We we don't associate with children. Even though there's one I, next to us. I my <laughs> hands <laughs> over the eyes of the fucking kid. Nope. 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 <laughs> he goes, the name's Magal. Magal I've got a I got a son Gentry and a an annoying little brat Tabitha. And Tabitha goes, oh. Hey, that's my dad. Well oh my god. Gets out of the box now. Because this is nightmare ever end. Well, and the girls not a problem anymore. We've had a father. Let's just go. Ah, happy with having reunion, yes? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, Tabitha go. runs over to her dad. Dad, oh, dad, dad! Him. She's gonna eat him. He's gonna eat I, I got He's separated! He goes, oh, little Tabitha, I missed you so much. I'm, it's, I'm really un my... it's really unfortunate that all that food just happened to stop. I have my bow at the ready, and if he starts jumping, I'm a shooting. And she jumps up into his lap. Oh, no. oh, Dad, I should tell you about this story. Apparently, Mom's like this orc lady. Did you know that? 
and you just start to see his jaw. I'm shoot. Monstrously unhinge. Monstrously um, unhinge. You shoot? No. Yeah. Oh my god. Motherfucker. Okay. Make I an attack. Just let the kid die. How many yeah, rooms I mean, are there in this fucking circus? Good lord. Uh, um, that's uh, that's uh, twenty-seven to hit. Yeah, you hit him. Four. Oh no! What if he's like a balloon and you, you're gonna hit him and he's gonna explode and like food shit's just gonna come out and just, oh. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. So you you happen to shoot him, and. Pops him. Oh God! And you see Tabitha, who is now covered in what looks to be a combination of food and human remains. Oh! And then again, immediately you see the seven other very large people, eyes wide. Oh, there's all this food everywhere now. There's oh! This, oh! This lot, no! Little girl. I, I run no. towards it, try to grab her away, and I want to kick some of the remains of the dead father towards oh the God. incoming crowd. Okay. Eat um, this. I, I, I would like you to roll me an acrobatics check. Uh, That's 24. So, seeing what you've just done maybe washed over with an immense amount of guilt. Uh, you rush in, and you do a little barrel roll hop over Disgusting. the table, dodging the bite of a, a large woman, grabbing Tabitha, sliding on the ground. You kick some of the the remains of Miguel Hull into the corner of the room, and you do like a, a, a large perimeter run around the room, and you're, you've returned to your group, a few of the larger people still have their eyes on your group now, and some of them have gone after the remains in the corner of the room. What would you like to do? I would like to, um, as Ooh. I'm assuming we're at, that we, as a group, are we still moving towards the door? I you're would like hope in, so. You're like, in, you're now, I'll say, you're, if you've continued moving, you're now in the room with the contraption, and you see like a bunch of the pies that have lined up. You also see that on one of the sides of the tins of the pie, uh, it says Dire Wolf. Um, oh, no! And oh, you motherfucker! It, it, <laughs> looks to be, it looks to be like there is a door where all of those humanoid animals went into that can shut. Uh, sh sh book it, book it, book Let's it. Let's go. Moving. Yeah. Okay. I'm um, like. Going... I'll like I'll like move through the door, wait for everybody to have entered the room, and just. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm going. Okay. Yeah. So. Once again, you hear, in the the far recesses of this space, he he he, you've made it. And in front of you, what you see as you come out of this door. I don't want to know anymore. A large red and black tiled floor that stretches into the darkness. Um, those tiles are about five feet each. There are empty baking pans, dirty plates, discarded silverware scattered all around the floor. In the middle of the room, there's an old lady who seems to be sweeping a near infinite mess into a pile, but more debris continues to just clatter down from the ceiling every few seconds. Uh, there is yeah. a single candle near the old lady that lights the floor with bright light in a 20-foot radius, and then dim light another roughly 20 feet. What would you like to do? So we're in a very, very large circular room with an old lady sweeping debris, and she has a candle with her. How far away is she, roughly? She's, you're on, like, the outskirts of that dimly lit 20 feet of light, so she's about... Uh, 30 feet from you. Okay. Just kind of ease the way in with everyone else, kind of up the oh bike for everyone else. And you don't happen to be Tasha, do you? She goes... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her like mouth's sewn so shut. A perception check. Oh, her mouth is sewn so shut, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> ten. Um, you you can make out. Yeah, it looks like her mouth is probably sewn shut. Oh, I will oh, do to her brain. Jesus. Don't worry, guys. I will talk into her brain and I will just say out loud what she says to me. Awesome, you did that. A cow died. <laughs> no, they're not connected things, okay? Uh, and I'll fucking telepathically speak into her. So, is your name, uh, so you're Zatasha? And she goes, Oh, it's so good to hear another person's voice. No, I'm not Tasha. She's up there. Oh. And she kind of points her head up. Um, her eyes are also sewn shut, so she I, can't see anything. I, I, I will Ew. whisper to everyone instead of saying it aloud. And I'll just slowly, like, Legend of Zelda Goma fight look up. Like, that, like... <laughs> oh. I like the reference. I just kind of, I just point, like... Okay, uh. so, again, in, in mind speak, she goes, It's been so long. I don't know how long I've been here, but she just continues eating and eating. She doesn't stop. I don't know where all this food is coming from. You don't want to. <laughs> she told me that if I just swept up the garbage, she, I'd be okay. And um, as you look up, you see what looks to be like a... You see what is an upside-down large banquet table. Um, circular in structure and a very very large ornate throne covered in gems and jewels and sword hilts and um, it looks to be like maybe a tea, a tea set um, oh pies and pies and pies all labeled different things this one is a um, a halfling uh, who was a pastor this one is a a, a tiefling who was, was a, a, a rancher. This one is a like a, a young a young girl who was uh, was bound for school. Um, what you see in front of you is one of the most disgusting sights of your life. Gaunt, black and red Harlequin jester outfit hanging loosely from her frail body. Ten rows of teeth. Lips tattered from endless feasting, 15 feet tall but hunched over in a throne, buried her face in meals, spider-like legs and bony knees splayed out to the side, Ugh. sticking to the upside-down table, um, with eyes on all of you. Hi. <laughs> and she speaks into all of your minds. Not mine. <laughs> Okay, she speaks into the four of your minds <laughs> and says, I've been waiting very, very long for you to get here. Let's dance. Just go. And she, sorry, there's like a, a little fly here. She. The spider. <laughs> <laughs> um, as they she heard. says, let's dance. Uh,. She doesn't seem to stop eating. She's still just shoving, shoving oh. stuff into her face. But she's going to, like, magically see, attack us. But what you do see is one of her legs points at a 90-degree angle downwards. And oh. a very, very quick whip grabs the old lady oh. up and into her mouth. Oh! oh. Okay. Like you all to roll initiative. You have... <laughs> Arrived off the train. Oh, oh hell yeah. Tasha. Tasha's kiss. Oh no. Oh, I see what's from Tasha's boy, kiss boy. now. That's disgusting. <gasps> Dude. Oh, uh, oh, this is fucking gross by This love is it. disgusting. Oh. Spider music. What's that? How can that make that a thing? Spider. Natural 20 for initiative. Nice. Oh, is anybody better than that? Oh, no. Nah. I'm close. Unless okay. you have minus on your. I got a 19. I got a dirty I... 20. Okay. Also we 19. What? Have... Sorry. Dirty 20. Whose dex is higher out of the two? 
between I have plus three. No. Laura? Me? Oh, um, plus two. It's your deck. Two. Okay. They just help me for like a 19th uh, century Lord. villain, close Curry. enough. Mm. Stamina. Zoram, what'd you get? 15. Oh, you guys are. This is pretty high initiative, guys. Yeah. Look at us go! Um, as you engage with Pasha, you all immediately feel the room grow hotter. Oh, Fuck. no. Pasha's kiss, the demon spider that you see above of you, has activated the oven. And oh. what you see around you, in the darkness, you see large metal contraption become illuminated and fire begins to rise around oh good on all the walls on all the walls around your circular space yeah oh fuck that fucking ruins my plan god <laughs> i was about she to say then, that ocean of climbing isn't i'm gonna do she that. then drops down oh thank god oh. appreciate okay. you she drops <laughs> down to your level in front of you she's about in the center of the room so about 30 feet from you um i would like before Roderick goes, I would like you to make a constitution saving throw. All of us? Just Roderick first. Oh. No. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, 22. Yo, you just got a plus one on all of that. True. Yeah. Okay. Um, you are good to go. All right. Well, I was going to use my spider climb ability to just scale the wall and climb up to her, but she jumped down. So yeah. fuck that idea. Um, I mean, I'm gonna run up. <laughs> no. And I'm going to take my new short sword in one hand, a dagger in the other, and just. Do it. Fucking hey. stab her. So for the short sword, that is uh, 23 to hit. Nice. Oh, and the dagger is uh, 11 to hit. Okay, so you swing that second dagger, and it she just kind of deflects it with one of her little claws. Also, while okay, so using you... one of her other tendrils to whip some food down, and she continues eating while you're attacking her. Oh, Bitch can't okay, even so stop takes... eating long enough to fight us. What a... She takes oh. um, nine points of um, slashing damage and three points of thunder damage so 12 in total yeah but uh yes okay um and i think that is my son okay uh what you are up Uh, I will cast Eldritch Blast at a okay two times. I don't have to make any saves or anything. I can just. Oh yes, actually, thank you for reminding me. I would like you to make. Oh, a damn it, Koiba! You're like kid that asked for homework, dude. Yeah, you are. Yeah, in my D and D games, because I want it to be the full experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to I mean, die. It doesn't, it doesn't make a difference because it's a twenty-three. So that's it. 23 total. Sorry. For your Save. saving throw? Yeah. Fucking I know okay. what I meant. You're fine. Yep. And then I'm going to fire two Eldritch Blasts at her. Hey. Uh, that is a dirty 20 and an 18. Uh, both hit? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Hey, dice. Mm. They went into the food. Ooh, I'm so sleepy. That's nice. Uh... Uh, for possible. 18 points of damage. Okay. And I will back up just a little bit. And then, if I can. If not, then I'll just, like, skirt like around the side. I feel like you can't back up because... Then I'll skirt around the floor. side. I'll skirt, okay. like, around the side a little bit. So, like, to the right. Just go to sure. the right. But, and um, just, turn. As you hit her with that second Eldritch Blast, it kind of impacts part of her thorax. And... 
you see her like hunch over as she stops eating for just a moment and oh oh no oh no and tasha Don't do it. vomits oh good um we eat dinner i'm like this. right there dude yeah Tasha vomits up. Let me see. Could be a good thing. Okay, Koiba. Oh. Might be a person. Like a nice... Tasha yeah, that's vomits... gonna fight us. Tasha vomits up a female goblin. Like a who immediately yells, We were the pies! We were the pies! And she unsheaths oh a dagger from her her little belt getting ready to point it at Tasha. Oh shit. Oh, hell yeah. Fucking knew it. Um, you, I mate. Fairy, nice. I would like you to roll a constitution saving throw. Oh yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, 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 16. 16. Okay, you pass. Go for cool, it. Cool, cool, cool. Um I stand and bow down a little bit to uh tabitha that's still with us and i'm like oh yeah close your eyes and just say your abcs and <laughs> do that a couple of times don't move close your eyes we're working here all right sure and thing, I... mr hot guy a b c d <laughs> oh no no stop stop <laughs> no keep doing this and i turn around and take two shots at angie okay. spider lady Go for it. Oof, that's my. Um, does eleven hit? Uh, you fire a crossbow bolt, and she eats it. Nice. Uh huh? <laughs> okay. Eighteen hit. Eighteen hits. Yes. All right. Cool. Um, that's uh thirteen magical piercing damage. And. That's it for me. No, I move. Um, I strafe to the side a little bit. To uh... you said eighteen. Yeah. Okay. She takes. Eats it. Okay. Um, Lamina, you are up. Take a Constitution saving. Uh, yeah. Okay. Dope. That is seven. Why did I roll the bad? God damn it. Um, as you ready to take an action in this fight, uh, you are somewhat overcome by the feeling of uh, the fire around you. Uh. Um, no. Like you take three points of fire damage. Gross. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna, cause this is probably it. I want out. I'm mad. Mad. Uh, gonna go ahead and use my last remaining, cause I got an extra use of it cause of the mutagen I drank. My last remaining blood maledict. And wait, how far, how many feet is she away from me? If I haven't it's approached 30, 30 feet. Okay, it's fine. It's 30 feet. Um, and I'm going to amplify the curse as I cast it. So as I just speak some weird words and like draw my sword across like my arm and draw my own blood and just like staring at her the whole time. Fuck. I of course rolled max mm -hmm. damage on myself. That sucks a bit. Um, but she starts to swell painfully. If she was gross before, she real gross now. She starts to start painfully swelling like a bloater from The Last of Us, getting all, like, boily and bubbly and looking all nasty. And it lasts okay. for one minute because I amplified it, so she has disadvantage on strength and dex ability checks. And if she makes more than one melee or ranged attack on her turn, she takes necrotic damage. She, okay. Does she take damage this turn? No. Okay. And she... At the end of each of her turns, she can make a constitution save to try and get rid of it. Okay. Um, um, so, yeah, that was my bonus action, is to use the curse. 
Uh, and then so for movement and action, gonna run up and just try and slice, slice with my long sword. Uh, so the first attack, let's see. Roll okay. No! You started three double digits and you tipped over. So that's a 17 and a 14 to hit. So 17 hits. Damn it. Okay. Uh, I'm one handing the sword, so it's a d8. Uh, that rolled off the thing. That's okay. Uh, 12. Yeah. Yeah, 12 slashing damage. You swing your sword and you happen to lop off one of the ends of nice. one of her legs and nice. she stumbles slightly and in that moment mm. Mm. Uh, she throws up a human female who looks like she is dressed like a bandit Dude, imagine James gets real meta, throws out an NPC from campaign one of Dungeon Select that she's eaten that came to the circuit. <laughs> um, is that your turn, Lavin? Yeah, I've used bonus action, action, and movement. I'm good. Hey. Zoran, you are up. Okay, fuck it. Because Zoran is from the circus, and he's a bit of a showman, <laughs> he is gonna, as and an action... Fun gonna use dancing lights to create some kind of a spotlight on, on himself because he likes to be uh, have some attention okay. and as my bonus action I'm gonna I like ins it. I'm gonna inspire let's go for Roderick and when the spotlights like show out and shine down on me I would just go Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Been searching in the nice. dark, your sweat Sweat's soaking, soaking through, through the, the floor. floor. Yeah. Dude. Hair between your this bones, is great, there's an egg that fucking... you can't ignore. Taking your Fuck breath, yeah, stealing your mind, <laughs> and all that was real is left <laughs> behind. And uh, you get a, uh, a little, little... This is so eight. great, because my <laughs> fucking sword, like, makes me hear, like, some, Music, like, yeah. Already, so this is <laughs> amplifies it, dude, and I'm just like... Ooh, okay, hell yeah, let's go. That's literally my pump up song in real life, dude. Ugh. Is that your turn, Zora? Yeah. Can you roll uh, can, 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 I, can, I, can I walk a, a little bit closer or a little bit uh, further away from her? Uh, you guys are at the door to the room, so the only way to go is forward or to the sides of the circle. I will go to the right and just follow, follow the wall a little bit. Okay, can you roll a constitution saving throw for me, please? Sure. I'm not sure I'm resisted to fire. I'm not sure if that makes any difference. Uh, you just if you take half damage. If you, if you fail. It's an 18. Okay, you pass. Okay, it's Tasha's turn. Oh. Uh, oh, she yeah. rolled very low on her initiative. Good. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, but, yeah, but this bitch about a fucking. <laughs> Does she do things? Um. This, this guy eats. So in front of her, I believe, is Roderick and Lamina. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tasha is still continuously shooting flips of web up to the pies above her, stuffing her face with her ten sets of teeth. And in a brief moment, um, she leans down close to Roderick. Uh-oh. Hello. Hello, Poppy. Says, I've always wanted to kiss a damn peer. Whoa. 18 to hit. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, you take. Four points of necrotic damage. Okay. And I would like you to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, oh. oh, I no longer have a minus one to that. That's a zero now because of that fucking buff I got. So there's that natural one. Oh, All doesn't right. matter. Cool. It could have been a zero, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> mm. You got lucky. 
Uh, you are now magically charmed by Tasha's kiss for one full round. You oh, must. You must obey Tasha's kiss verbal or telepathic commands. If you oh, receive fuck. any harm or a suicidal command, you can repeat the saving throw, ending the effect on a success. If you successfully uh. save, the effect ends, and then you're Im immune to it for 24 hours. Okay. okay. Um, Tasha is then going to use one of her legs and stab Yurt, the small female goblin, through the chest. No! Yurt. And whip Yurt at oh, no. Watt. Yo, Gert. Watt, uh, I would like you to quickly make an athletics check. Of course it is. Or an acrobatics check. Acrobatics it is, baby. Five. <laughs> you want to add something to that? <laughs> uh, I would like you to take four points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And I would like you to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, 16. You pass. Eight. Um, Lauren, the female bandit, is going to pull out her short sword and attempt to attack Tasha. She misses, probably because she is incredibly covered in drool and guts and doesn't really know what's going on, but she tried to help you. We are back at the top mm -hmm. of the round. Roderick, it is Hello. now your turn. Uh, Tasha Man. is going to have you turn to Lamina. Of course she fucking is! <laughs> Flanking her with Tasha. Oh, mm. you fucking piece of shit. And pulling out that humming sword, take a slash mm. at Lamina's back. Okay, in flanking, so I have. Hmm. Fuck you, dude. Oh, fuck. God, this entire thing is just a mind fuck. God. I have advantage. And I rolled right, max damage flanking. earlier to weaken myself to curse her. Right, so I have advantage on the attack roll. So, um. That's a natural 20. Oh, I'm so dead, dude. And you get sneak attack because you had the final draw. I'm so and dead. I get sneak attack. I'm so dead. I, mean, I, I did say at the beginning of the session I wanted this character to die, though, so I brought this on myself. <laughs> like, literally. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Question. So, Tasha's on Tasha's turn, she only took the one attack action, right? She just did the one. She did the she did her kiss ability, yes. Yeah, she didn't take a second damage. Okay, so she doesn't take any necrotic damage. No. She threw something. Yeah, that all it says let's is if it makes it, more than one call, melee or ranged attack is the let's wording. Let's call that an attack. Let's call it an attack. All right, in that case, she takes eight points of necrotic damage. Perfect. I did something. I helped plus the one hit earlier. Roderick. Yeah. Am I dead? What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? Can you stay alive, please? 40 points of damage. 4 0. I fall to the ground, unconscious, baby. I had 37 hit points. Tasha <laughs> speaks into your mind, Roderick, and says, It is such a lovely melody. Uh, your, your turn is over. And guess what? I got disadvantage on death saves because of the mutagen I drank. <laughs> Pog, let's go. <laughs> um, fuck. Why is that a thing? It must be, it must be really lit, right? Mm. Well, all of the mutagens give you something really good, but then something real shit. So it's like you choose the... Yeah. Roderick, like... the charm mm. immediately ends, and at your feet you see a stabbed lamina on the floor. Uh, what? Having seen that go down, it is. Fuck. I will. How far away is Lamina from me? 30 uh, ish feet? About 25 ish feet, yeah. I will run up 25 feet. Use an action. Greater healing potion I fucking picked up last session, apparently, because in my inventory, that's going fucking straight into Lamina. <laughs> okay. 
Just go, 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 go. 44. Do you want to roll it, Laura, or do you want me to roll 44. it? You can roll it, I don't care. <laughs> you got 12 HP back. <laughs> it puts me up though, so. Hey. I'll like see her open her eyes. I'll be I'm so sorry. No, you won't. You're still charmed, aren't you? No, no, no the charm ended. No. Oh, then yeah. I will then I'm just so looking at you sorry. like fuming. Just like. <clears throat> I will then bonus action Misty Steps the other side of the room. Okay. Nice. Uh, can you do me a favor? Because I forgot. Constitution oh. saving throw. Oh, of course. This also sucks because now I have low enough hit points. I'm not going to use my crimson yeah. right because I'm not going to risk killing myself and pulling a molly mock. Very. Oh, do I need to also vote call save for my turn? Actually, yes. That would be great. Thank you. So and me too, good. then, I guess. Yep. Um, eight um, plus four, 12. You're good. I have 16. You're oh good. My gods. Yeah, I'll All just right. go to the directly opposite side of the room. Very, you are up. Yes. Well, I'm gonna take two uh, sniper shots. Because that's how we do things in here. Sharpshooter shots. How we do it. Uh, two of them. Ooh. Um, let's see. The lowest one is 16 to hit. They both hit. Cool, cool, cool. That is uh, 32 magical piercing damage. Okay. Um, Would you like to do anything else? I like to... I, I'm taking a quick glance over at Roderick to see if he's back at conscience or not. Um, do you want to roll a quick perception check for me? I uh, will. Uh, eight. Uh, you can't tell. You don't know. All right. I'm going to move a little bit closer to him. Uh, and I have my calm emotions vile stashed. I know where it is. Ready to fucking pour it in his throat if he tries weird shit again. Okay. Uh, nice. Again, in the background, you, he you hear LMNOP. You are at uh, <laughs> this fucking shit. You also see me, me. Um, Asha throws up a black dragon wormling. Oh, uh, oh, that sounds <laughs> bad. Okay. That sounds bad. That sounds like it'll. Oh, fuck yeah, that might, yeah, that might fight us. Hold on. No, no, he's a fan. He's a fan. Lamina, you're up. Constitution saving throw. <sighs> 16. You pass? No, 17. But yeah, 17. Okay. You pass? Um, I'm torn because it kind of wastes my whole turn. But, like, it's not a waste. Okay. I'm going to use an action since I just had a brush with death and it's not looking good. And I've already used my curse, so the benefit... This is giving me. It's not going to do anything. I'm going to use my action to just kind of. I'm still like lying on the ground to take a minute and just like close my eyes, focus, and I flush the toxins from my system, ending the side effects of my mutagens that I drank. So I won't get disadvantage on death saves if I go down again. Um, but that's all I can do because I don't have any bonus actions that I want to do now because I'm weak as fuck. So, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I didn't do it last time. There's a thing I should have done when I went down last time, but I'll just do it next time I go down because it's a one use when I reduce to zero HP. So I'll just do that if that happens again. Um, Yeah, I just stand up, sword out at the ready, facing Tasha. Okay. Ready for whatever the fuck happens. But yeah, I should have used my relentless endurance because I'm a yeah. half orc, but I'm dumb. But Ooh. next time, if it happens again, we're good. Okay, is that your turn? At the end of your turn, as Zoron is about to do whatever he's about to do, um, Tasha looks down at you, Lamina, and says, Oh, I remember you. Poor little circus girl. 
wasn't allowed to join the circus. How about now? Would you like to join me now? Am I allowed to answer? It's not my turn. Mm -hmm. yep, I, I just go, what do you think? And do a cool flip of the sword. Like one of those like spin twirl things and like ready <laughs> it. Okay. So yes, yeah, is she agreeing? Hold on. Is she getting weird? No. <laughs> that was a fuck no. Launching a few more twits <laughs> to grab some more food and stuff for her face. Zoran, constitution saving throw, please. Sixteen. You pass. What would you like to do? Okay. Action. I'm gonna grab the liar, and okay. I'm gonna play Ooh. a little diddle. Yeah. Okay. Sounds a bit like uh, speaks of the love, the uh, theme song from The Godfather. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, dude! I'm using it to cast fly on myself. Yo. Use my movement to fly up. And bonus action. Grab the teacup and dangle it. Let's Ooh. see what happens. Come to me on my daughter's birthday. <laughs> I'm not gonna make an offer you can do. <laughs> Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay, so Sasha sees what you did. She's, first of all, where did you get that? That's my treasure. And she's specifically talking about the liar. She goes, and then where oh. did you get that? Um, I would like you, Zoran, to make a charisma slash persuasion check. Pog? He's a bard, he wins these? He wins these? Normally, yeah. Mm -hmm. Contractually obliged to win these? Thank you. That's what we got you Hyperbole. for. 24. Oh, there we go. Good. There we go, there we go, there we go. Um, as you dangle the teacup in front of Tasha, for a split second, you see what looks to be the same color and form of the souls that you saw with the laughing man and the souls mm -hmm. that you freed from Tasha's bedroom come out of the side of the spider's face and it looks like what you see on the overlay you see a jester but she's a human and she's trying her best to push herself out of the spider oh she's trying really hard but immediately gets sucked back in interesting um, is this like some kind of now... weird fucking possession or some yeah. shit yeah, yeah. It's now Tasha's turn. Oh. And Some weird spider god happened, possessed this actual jester. With that having mm. happened, she's pissed. So she <laughs> is going to stop eating for a split second. Oh wow! All of her she legs, all of her legs are going to form what looks to be like a large web. And on her face is probably one of the most terrifying things that you've ever seen. Oh good! Every single set of teeth and her jaw unhinging, with her abdomen standing up. Um, if you've ever played Dark Souls, what I'm imagining is the gaping dragon. Oh, oh daddy. Oh, oh, good. Oh, like a combination uh, of Quaylag and the gaping dragon. <laughs> oh, at this God. moment, I would Ew. like all of you- That's cursed. Wisdom, I would like all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. If wisdom you can see save. Tasha. Hell yeah. I assume I can. Oh, fucking five, baby, let's go. Uh, 19. Also a 19 for me. Yo, a 7? 17. Dab, dab. Oh, I mean, Dutch can get fucking destroyed. <laughs> Zoran? Yeah. What did you roll? Oh, 19. Okay. Like me. Um, If you rolled below 15, Ooh. you are now considered mm. frightened for one minute. Oh, mm -hmm. it's off. <laughs> um, you can repeat this saving throw at the end of each of your turns. As long as you succeed on the throw, you are no longer frightened. But at the moment, all you can really do while frightened uh, is move away from the source of the fear, or you have disadvantage on things like ability checks and attack rolls. Mm -hmm. So I believe both Lamina and Roderick, who are standing right next to her, Hello? are frightened. You know what? I'm not. No, I rolled a 19. Oh. 
Oh, it's me. Sorry, sorry. What's funny? I am. Watts and Roger. You know what's even funnier is she's the gaping dragon and queerly mixed together, but she's still all swollen and bloated and fungusy looking from my curse as well. So add that in to this whole image. God. Uh, she will also <laughs> use one of her legs um, that is not a part of the web and thrust it through the stomach of Lauren, that female bandit. Oh my god. She will throw it at Zoran. Oh fuck. Zoran, I would like you to make either an athletics or an acrobatics saving throw. I fucking hate this. I actually hate this. <laughs> this is gross. It's gonna be gross. acrobatics because okay. bonus on that. 18. Okay, so you succeed and the body flies past you into the fire. Um, back to the top of the round. Roderick, you are frightened. You also need to roll a constitution saving throw for me. Run away. Get dicks, titties. Um, I'd say natural two on constitution saving throw. I know. Okay. You fail, and you take four points of fire damage. Oh, da, 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 da. Um, the immense heat bleeding into the room as the hot. oven grows hotter and more red. Am I... Mm, who else is in melee with spider mom? Me. Oh, I hit my microphone. Yeah. Me. <laughs> Okay. Is it spider we're both mom? kind of we're both kind of on the same side of her, right? Yeah. So I'm not gonna be able to squeeze a flanking bonus out of you, am I? I don't think so. She's very she's very oh. big. So like her front yeah. bone is quite large. Yeah, and I can't position myself to flank because I uh, the only way I can go is backwards. Yeah. So I'm just gonna fucking take the disadvantage on the chin and try and fucking stab her, dude. Or wait, hold. Uh, actually, I'm going to cast. Mm, I'm going to cast Create Bonfire. Oh, that okay. sounds dope. I'm gonna look at a space. It's, it's it fills a five foot cube, uh, and I'm just gonna make it appear under Tasha. Okay. Uh, and any creature in the bonfire space, when I cast a spell, must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take two d fire damage. Okay. And it must repeat uh, repeat this if she ends her turn in the space as well. So there you go. Nineteen. Well, that's just annoying, isn't it? It was a 17. Wait, what save was she making? Dex. Disadvantage because of my curse. Boss you champ? Didn't, you didn't end that? No, it's amplified for... I, I already cast it. That doesn't Thank matter. Thank you for reminding me. 11. <gasps> Yay. Pog. Yay. Uh, 2d8 fire damage. Mm -hmm. So she takes... Wow. Seven points of fire damage. Okay. Get shot them. And um, I am going to use my bonus action to disengage because I'm a rogue. I can do that. Okay. And uh, back up 30 feet, dude, and like be, be, be at a distance. Okay. And that's my turn. Um, Watts, you are frightened. I am scarred, but even scared. Can you make a constitution saving throw? Of course can. That's a say, uh, that's a ten. You fail. Yeah. You take four points of fire damage. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna fire with disadvantage, me. I'll just play it. Okay, dude. Two, I'll just play. Okay, and uh, the first one. Oh, that was really well. Is this seventeen? To hit? That hits, yeah. yeah. And the second one is... Oh, that's gonna miss, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, 11? That misses. So that flies by her through maybe one of her little tendril-like legs making a whip. I'm just kind of not looking at her, Mike. Like... <laughs> uh, four. Ooh, 12 points damage. Nice. nice. 
that hey guys that, that turn. she's if, if i'm keeping track correctly she's taken 69 points of damage ha, ha, ha. Nice. james nice. don't tell me if i'm right or not i've just been in my head thinking i've been keeping track so i could be wrong but okay i choose to believe this uh -huh. <laughs> It was like, um, actually, it's is that, 68. Is that it, what? Is, is that, that it? it? Okay. Barry, you are up. I'm going to take hey, two shots of vodka, and then I'm going to crossbow this lady. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sharpshooter shots. Bing, boom, boom. Uh, Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. I don't like the look of that, so I'm going to use my superiority die to get some extra chance on that hit hang on oh that's the wrong dice i i thought i picked up a d8 and then i rolled and it was a d4 that's magic okay <laughs> so that's new um then the lowest of the two is uh 14 to hit the 14 does not hit all right and the Rick. other one is 16 to hit that does hit. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, then it's 18 piercing damage. Magical wow. piercing damage. Yeah, the sharpshooter shot is really nice. Damn, dude. Damn. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, uh, that's it for now. Okay, Lamina, you are up. Actually, sorry, hold on. Forgot. <laughs> Oh my god, no. stop. Stop um, it. That's great. This time it's just puke. It's not a thing. It's Wait, what, happened, what happened to that dragon that she fucking The wormling? Off? We don't know. Yeah. It's just, it's vibing. It's here. Oh god. It's covered in a lot of saliva and cannot fly. Like um, me. Just like me. me. Damn it. <laughs> Coughs up another woman in guard like attire. Hmm. What's reported? Okay. Uh... Lemina, constitution saving throw, please. Uh, yeah. That's a 17. You succeed. What would you like to do? Attack her. This time, two handing my sword for my both of my attacks. Okay. Fuck me. Okay, well, the first one's a 13. That misses. The second one's a 22. 22 hits. You swing your sword wildly, and she narrowly avoids it. The second one making contact with the thorax. Of second large one, woman. she takes 16 points of slashing damage. Nice. Oh, Cutting into green. the thorax, it bleeds a black goop. Ew. Hmm. And I'm not going to do any bonus actions because I'm too weak to risk it. Okay. I'll send it, uh, dude. Zoran, you are up. Let's say natural 20 on the safe. Hell yeah. Excellent. So, that's that. Um, I just want to... So now I'm on the right side of the door. I kind of want to fly to the left side of the door. Okay. Because first time flying, I want to fly. Sure. Um, <laughs> as a bonus action, let's start with it. I would like to. Uh, Vodok is already inspired. I'm gonna inspire. What? <coughs> what? Um, <coughs> with a little. I think this might be appropriate. Um, I'm just say. Just a, a, a little little thing. This used to be a fun house, but now it's <laughs> all full of evil clowns. <laughs> it's time to start a countdown. Let's burn it down. Oh. And that's for the inspired. Nice. So this is the aid you can add as my action. Another day. Nice. I have had enough with this spider chick. Level three. Uh, shatter. Because, fuck it. Can I get a constitution saving throw? Five. It's a fail, so you take 
full damage, which is 4d8. 7, 15, 19, 26 damage. And that's it. As you cast your Shatter Magic, uh, dun, dun, dun. you see a few of her legs blow off of her body. And she <laughs> screams Ew. in agony. She looks down at all of you and says, I just wanted to collect nice things. And she okay. will cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter hey. on all of you. That's weird because I counterspelled it. Oh! <laughs> the power play. I mean, I assume I have to roll. I assume it's going to be higher than the third level spell. Uh, so what What are the mechanics behind Counterspell? What do I have to tell you? What level? If the spells are the same level, like if Tasha's Hideous Laughter is third level and then Koiba casts at third level, then it automatically counters it. If your spell's higher level, then Koiba has to roll. I have to do yeah. 10 plus whatever the spell level is, right? And that's the DC to yeah. beat, yeah. yeah. So the only detail that matters is what level is she casting the spell at? Yeah. Okay. Um. Does inspire my... work with that rule? Uh, no. inspiration would because technically it's a like a sp uh, it's my spell modifier, right? Yeah. Yeah. True. So it's like. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Um. Interestingly enough, my one shot does not indicate the level. Huh. Or, and the ability itself does not indicate also if I can upgrade it based off of spell slots because it's um, not, she's not really casting a spell. Oh, is she not casting mm -hmm. a spell? Um, is it just a thing? Let's, yeah, I think we're just going to go with that because it's not if you know it's an action. I will. Then, and she's, uh, just, she's actually just laughing. Then I will not count huh. spell it because I can't. Okay. Because okay. it's just a... Uh... Sure, and I apologize for that's deflating busy. you a little bit there. But oh, is... no, 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 that, that's fine. Just because she... we, we just all assumed it was a spell because yeah. Yeah, it's the name of the spell. So she freaks out. <laughs> I can hear this and... echoing through my walls right now. That's great. Um, <laughs> I would like all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Sick, dude. Oh, boy. Nope. <sighs> Eight. That. I'm not wise. Seventeen. Fifteen. Okay. Zoran, you pass. What? You pass. Barry? Fifteen. You pass. Lamina, you do not pass. Nope. Roderick. You do not pass. Okay. Still so, inspiration. Um, inspiration, I'm stupid, wait! We have to roll the 8 here. Just saying. Fuck it. 10. Sick. So you do pass. Eh! Or no, that was a total of 10. Yeah, total of 10. Yeah. Total, total okay. 10. So you fail. Oh. The hope. So, um, the two of you are going to both suffer from madness. The first? Lamina. It's road madness. Fuck. Lamina, you are, for the next 10 minutes, incapable of speaking and instead can only babble. You also That's cannot fine. spell cast. That's fine. I don't cast spells. <laughs> you now have three points of long term madness or yep. continuing madness. Progress. Well. For the next 10 hours. Oh, oh my god. You experience uncontrollable tremors which impose disadvantage on everything you do. Uh, Attack fuck. rolls, ability checks, saving throws, anything that involves strength and dexterity, you suffer from disadvantage. Okay. Ooh, you now cool, have cool, four cool. points of continuing madness. Oh, that's cool. Um, that's great. 
Tasha will then use two of her remaining legs and stab both the Wormling and the Guard Captain. One of them will be thrown at Zoron. One of them will be thrown at Fairy. I would both Yeeting like you to make you. an acrobatics or athletics check. All right, we'll do. 22. Yeah. <laughs> Eight. Okay. I ate Zoran, it. You pass, the body flies by and ends up in the fire. The wormling, unfortunately, immediately disintegrates. Barry, uh, you take six points of bludgeoning damage as the limp body of this guard captain collides with you. Uh, you also suffer from madness. Mad. Mental, this is Sparta. Barry, you retreat into your mind and become paralyzed. Oh, yikes. Mother oh, sorry, nope, I read off. I, I apologize. I read off the wrong table. Uh, oh. it's, prob it's probably worse. Oh, great. Um, there it is. Okay. You suffer from extreme paranoia. You now have disadvantage on wisdom and charisma checks for the next. Oh, episode. great! Because she's not done any wisdom checks. Oh, yeah. She never used that. No, that's okay. Oh, just checks. Wait, checks or yeah. saving throws? Uh, checks. Oh. Oh. Fine. Oh. Fine. 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 Uh, oh. we go to the top of the round with Roderick. Hello. Uh, would you like oh. to make a saving throw for that frightened miss? Um. The only way I can, I'm not going to be able to. We forgot to do that at the end of your turn. Oh, fuck. Okay. Wait, you know, totally fucking do that. Then fuck it. So is that wisdom? Yep. Nine. You do not succeed. New. No. Um. What I'll do is oh, I'm at a distance. So. I'm going to take my trusty two daggers. And. Toss him up in the air, catch him, and then just chuck him at her. Hey, as you do that, before you roll an attack, can you roll me a oh. constitution saving throw, please? All the stupid yes. heat from the oven. Uh, dirty 20. You pass. Throw those daggers, please. Mm -hmm. 18 to hit on the first one. That's with disadvantage. Oh, I'm stupid. No, sorry. Uh, 15 to hit on the first one. Sorry. Um, does Ty go to the attacker? Yes. You, you need to match or beat the AC to hit. It hits. Nice. Second one, natural 20. And another 15 to hit. So both are 15s to hit. You got it. All right. Um, I get my homie still in melee with her. Me? I mean, I should be. Yeah. Nice, that means I get sneak attack. Um, so what's the damage die for a dagger? D4, so... Oh. So... Uh, uh, fuck me. Uh, she takes a total of... Uh, that's 19 plus 6. Dude, 25 points of damage, dude! How would you like to... I am now... <gasps> yes. Oh! Oh! Wait a second, dude. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm chucking my dagger, so I just want one to fucking, like, as her big-ass mouth opens up, because she's constantly f feeding herself while fighting, right? Yeah. Because yeah. as I see that opportunity, I just want, like, as she opens that big, gaping mouth first, chuck one directly, nice. just, like, in her mouth, and, like, just, you know, jam it in the back of her throat. Nice. And the other one, I'm just going for just, just straight to me, like, just the forehead. Just... Just... Okay. So you throw your daggers, <clears throat> they fly through the air at mock speed. One goes through the back of her throat as it enters her mouth. The next lodges yeah. between her many eyes, and all of her legs go limp. And she cocks her head towards you. Nice. Tee. Oh god. Stop. And she falls her giant spider carcass to the ground. As she dies. Circus disappears. Um, we all go home. <laughs> the <laughs> greenish, whitish 
wispy, soul-like being that you saw for a moment's glance Mm -hmm. manages to push itself outside of the body of Tasha's kiss. But you see it not fly away. It crumbles to dust. Oh. And then also dies. No. Sad. Saved it. As Tasha's kiss's body falls to the ground with a large thud, her stomach prolapses out of her mouth. Ugh. Nothing. And the hundreds oh, to so thousands gross. of people that she has devoured are vomited up. We'll die. We'll all die. We're just going to get covered in bodies of people. As she <laughs> begins to incoherently vomit, Mm-hmm. Um, the blackness and the fire around you disappear, and almost, almost like fairy dust, uh, the red and blackness fade away, and you find yourself in an, in a circus tent. Um, bodies upon bodies keep climbing their way out of her stomach. I'm running. I'm backing up. I don't want to get covered by dead people or now living people. Yeah, I'm fucking running. Um, And the dimension of Tasha's carnival, as it became a giant circus tent, also fades to dust. And you see around you grass, you see a blue sky that once was storming, but that has cleared. You hear birds chirping. People are continuously vomited up here and there and here and there. Some of them dead, some of them alive. So uh, disgusting. What would you like to do? I check on Tabitha. Uh, Tabitha has finished her 12th iteration of the ABCs. <laughs> and she looks up at you and she's like, are we good now? Can I go home? Um, yes, and maybe. Uh, Let's find your brother first, all right? Okay, sounds good. Let's go find Gentry. Can I still can I speak yet? Because I had the thing where I could only babble. Does that still last, even though she's dead, or is that ended? Let's say that it has ended, okay. and all of the effects that you were under the effect of have happened to disappear. Okay. Nice. So in front of you, you see grassy plains that lead out into a small circus tent with a wagon near it, a little boy sitting on a stump, swinging his legs, humming a tune. You see forestry and birds, and you see what looks to be an empty, an empty abandoned village or town behind you, with bodies upon bo- bodies piling up, some alive and some dead. Um, there's a, a bit of a panic going on. Uh, this is like... Hundreds to thousands of displaced people from all across the world. Fuck, it's true. It's not this town. Shit. Are, are somehow just ending up in front of you. Um, all right, I'm not very much of a public speaker. Who wants to explain to these lovely people what the fuck's going on? Like you, you, you see bodies that are dead being vomited oh, out. Boy. To bodies that are alive screaming in terror. Are you going to interject or help in some way? I will <laughs> cast mask on dancing yeah. <laughs> dancing lights dancing into people. the air. Okay. And then also just into the air cast thunderclap. To like make a loud boom to sure. get everyone's fucking attention. Get them to shut up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just be like Wait, 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 everybody! After the loud fucking thunderclap is. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wait, wait, wait! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is not time. It's not time for panic. It's, just, it, it's almost this. It's time to, to find your loved ones and see what has happened. Terrible things have happened here over the past. Uh, who knows how long? It's time to recuperate. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. Dude, for I have you. questions. <laughs> yeah, we will be happy to answer them for you. But for the most part, we cannot answer everything. Just basic information of like where we are. What, uh, that's about it, really. <laughs> but uh, 
you know, basic info. Uh, is can I find like where Gentry is? Sure. So like, Gentry, Gentry is like... in the distance, sitting on a, st a stump, swinging his legs, waiting for you guys to come back outside of the. Roughly, how wagon. long has it been since we've been gone? Uh, well, see? apparently, I was apparently I was sitting here for like a few minutes. I think. Oh, that was fast. This is the day. Right. You've not like, you say, sorry? It's still the same day. The one we oh, saw. Yeah. Him. You you guys just went in there. Now you're here. Apparently you're very fast. No, apparently time is different into the van than it is out here, so who knows how Don't long it's explain that there. boy that shit that he doesn't need that. Yeah, we are very fast. Yeah, apparently you guys are like super super fast. Oh also here's your sister. Tabitha! Oh hey Gentry! What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you talk this out. <laughs> Go yeah. all, oh, we'll, all, we'll all sit around and listen. <laughs> we, we goes, well, apparently, uh, where's mom and dad? Okay. Tabitha goes, uh, well, I'm dead. I don't know. I think dad blew mm -hmm. up. I don't know where mom is. She can be your mom. <laughs> Oh, uh, Gentry, let me introduce you to this lady. She's like, kind of, she's like, she said she was our mom. I just walk away. Don't even well, look at them. Well, this is happening. <laughs> Question, are there still bodies, like, getting spewed out of nowhere? It, it happens for a few minutes. Like, it's could a big I, body. Could Damn. I use Skyride to just leave a message in the sky for oh, the people that good, just good are shout. arriving? Mm. To just say, Sasha is gone. You are safe now. Just as a little thing to 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 show in in the sky, when there are still more people appearing. Nice. Sure. Just if the if they look up to the sun or so that they can see a little message. And as as people who are alive attempt to escape like the ensuing chaos. You know, some people run off into the forest. Some people don't give a fuck. They're just running away because they're terrified. They've been separated from their home for who knows how long. They're, not... they're running away. They're terrified. Minutes. Some people who were townspeople of Dewberry just go back into town. Um, phased, obviously. Like, they've just experienced something that they hope that no one would ever experience in their entire lifetime. But in an attempt to try to establish some kind of, like, control, you know, maybe they're just going to go back to town. Some people sit there bewildered and they're unsure. They don't know what's going on. But you spend the next however long attempting to establish some kind of order. Um, you know, Gentry and, and Tabitha, they run off into the town. Presumably someone can take care of them. We don't know. That's potentially something to discuss. That's them problem. I will be like precedentation people who are like really fucking disgusting. Like, sure, you clean them off. There's no yeah, more just like, guts and saliva on them. Just to help them like get over. <laughs> like what the fuck just happened to them? Like it seemed like Tasha was either eating people whole or she was eating people who had been turned into pies. Yeah. Uh, so some are just dead. Some are dead from suffocating or you know saliva. Some are alive. Um. After some kind of calm has been established, and you've, you know, you've conquered. Tasha's carnival and, and Tasha's kiss. Um, you know, standing around that wagon, you hear in the distance. Um, and I guess maybe Lamina cannot hear this, but you hear something in your mind. It's a male voice. And it goes, where one carnival falls, another one takes its place. Jack's here to take over. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. Ew. Oh no. And that is where we will end Tasha's kiss. That's Ooh. gross, dude. Mm, okay, Jack. Jack. Nice. Oh my god. It just goes far. Uh, that was sick, bro. That was, that was twisted. Nice. That was some, some twisted shit, shit in there. Fuck yeah. Shit. That was fucked up. I fucking dude, that shit's great. Hello. Crazy hello. 
Holy shit. So the actual one shot in and of itself has a lot of gross stuff in it. Yeah. Some of it I added a little bit of flavor. Like, of for course. example, when you chose to shoot Miguel Hall and blew him up, and Laura mm -hmm. suggested that, I was like, why not? It fits it. Oh, that's gross. Uh, <laughs> but a lot of the stuff, like the whole stomach prolapsing out and vomiting up hundreds to thousands of people, that's literally in the one shot. It's written in yeah. That's disgusting. So, it's fucking disgusting. Um, just for, I know you guys, some of you guys got to go over, some of you are tired. Uh, I'm for starving. Mm -hmm. We actually skipped like three different rooms because of time. Uh, really? This one the shot whole, is long. The Fuck. whole feeding room and like humanoid animal thing, that is it's mm -hmm. in two separate rooms, two entire counter encounters that I tried mm -hmm. to mishmash quickly together. Yeah. There's an entire tentacle room that you didn't go to. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, we um, missed out on the tentacle room? No. You missed the tentacle room, dude? Aww. Fuck. No. Yeah, you missed out. The giant tentacle mass room where the te the tentacle monster pulls arms off people and replaces them with tentacles. Oh, nice. God, cool. no. Very cool. Do you know what that sounds like? That sounds like Bot's fucking patron. <laughs> um, <laughs> if If you are interested at some point in the future in continuing this with these characters and you want to go investigate this where one carnival ends, one takes over business. Just let me know. Yeah. Um, I, but I appreciate you all for playing, and I appreciate you for being patient with me. I know my schedule is not the greatest. Thank you for playing. We did it. Finished it. Thank you for DMing. Yeah. yeah thank it was you very dope. Much. Yeah, it was fun. Wait, right, so like this, this whole like like. Oh man, in my last last guy stream, but, but fuck me, this was I dude the whole like setting of like crazy circus mm -hmm. i fucking love that shit though yeah eat that shit up it's fucking great i love it i hope that you Dope. all got to do something fun or like cool yeah. that you were hoping Dope your character could do mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. i'm just curious about a lot of things like oh how could we have made it so that instead of of killing it, we would have, you know, been able Saved to free the, the soul in it, yeah. or some shit, right? Yeah, that'd be fucking cool as duh. Cool as fuck. <clears throat> she, and but, what um, did what did her. what did that lever do mm. in that room that we never pulled? And you know, yeah, I'm probably yeah, sure we probably didn't need to know. And, but uh, thanks very much, James, for uh, running this. Of course, thank you. Guys Appreciate you. And if you ever, you know, if you ever have like a time and want to run something else, uh, just let us know, dude. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh man. Then we will say bye good, to y'all because it's for you guys. It's late mm -hmm. for me and James. I'm fucking starving. Yeah, I'm I need dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks everybody. Thanks for watching. This will be on the YouTube and, uh, we'll be eventually. Tomorrow. Yeah. This will be on YouTube. Bye -bye. Tomorrow we'll for like episode tomorrow. seven of Dungeon uh, for Select. Da session seven. Thanks, Opti Shattered James. You know your non regular Dungeons like folks here. Hanging out, doing yeah. this great, having you. No, I can and, thank uh, you for catch you guys me. tomorrow for uh, absolutely, absolutely. So it was good. Actually good. Yeah. Um, yeah. See you guys tomorrow for Dungeon Select, guys. Have a good night. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye.